Hi everyone, I'm Elvin and I'm Faith and, and welcome, welcome to WordPress, WordPress Basics. And this webinar is brought to you by the ICT Visayas Master One. And yes po, in this set, we're going to introduce you to one of the most popular website development platform and that is WordPress. WordPress. We're going to learn the basic tools and functions and later on, gagawa tayo ng simple website as your output. Yes mga moms and sir, although wala ka pong background or less knowledge ka on website development and design, Pwede, pwede ka pong gumawa for your own or for your school. Yes, yeah, so if you're now ready, let's start. Arat na? G. G! So here is the intro to WordPress. So some of, you, some of you are new to this and some are not. So basically, WordPress is a free and open source content management system written in PHP and paired with a MySQL or MariaDB database. So WordPress is the simplest and most popular way to create your own website and blog. So features include the plugin architecture and the template system. So refer to within the WordPress as themes. In fact, WordPress powers over 37.2% of all the websites in the internet. So here are some of the notable big brands that are using WordPress. We have the TechCrunch, we have the Bloomberg, we have the BBC America, which focuses on the card cable network. We have the Star Wars, Sony, Disney, MTV News, and of course, the Facebook. So WordPress SDLC have six stages. First, we have the planning, analysis, design, implementation, testing, integration, and then maintenance. So here is the WordPress release history started on May 27, 2003. And the latest version is 5.4.2. The WordPress decided to adopt the regular release schedule every three to four months. So wag po tayo magtaka if may mga bagong releases si WordPress. So trivia. WordPress are a code name after well-known jazz musicians from version 1 until today's. Here are some of the key terms. We have here the widgets. It is a bundle of PHP, HTML, and CSS code that adds some type of function to the widgets areas of your WordPress site. So with widgets, you can do everything from displaying a Twitter feed in your sidebar to displaying ads below post based on your category. So you can add there the calendar, the clock, or whatever you like on your website. Then next, we have the categories. There is the simply in a way of organizing your WordPress posts. Categories are the least specific way to organize your posts within the WordPress, but also one of the easiest for readers to understand and follow. So kung gusto niyo maging malinis yung post niyo, mas maganda ipasok sa categories. Like if you want to post about some events of the school, achievements, and the courses. Another one, we have the plugin. It is a piece of code that extends the ability of WordPress. Natively, WordPress doesn't support things like contact forms. But there are many contact forms, plugins, that add the functionality to WordPress. There are available na plugin pwede niyong gamitin to enhance the functionalities of your website. Some are paid and most of them are free. Another one is we have the media library. It is where all of, all of your media is stored. You have your audio files, the photos, the documents, and etc. all reside simply in the media library. So you can create your galleries there, you can edit your photos, or even find media that you use elsewhere in the site. The next one is the permalink. It is a permanent URL for a piece of content. So WordPress provides pretty permalinks out of the box. So basically, pinapaganda ni permalink yung website. And the last one is the short code. It is a small code in the brackets that represents a much larger function. It's a nice way of consolidating certain functionality for users. So kung wala kang background about programming, so pwedeng gamitin si short code para di na mag-type ng sobrang haba. For now, uh, we will be skipping the technicalities sa pag-install and we will be using a straightforward installation through the help of uh, Bitnami WordPress. Ta. 
So, para iran po natin doon yung ating WordPress. Now, to install WordPress, just uh, open your favorite browser and then just type uh, Bitnami WordPress. So, just click lang po yung first link na makita nyo dito. And we want to develop uh, our website on our local computer. So, pipiliin po natin tong merong options for window, Mac and Linux. And yun po, may kita po natin if you scroll down a little bit, may kita po natin yung mga installers for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So, ang current po na version ng WordPress is 5.4.2. Just click this one para ma-download. And this one, no thanks, just take me to the download. Maybe some of you are asking bakit po uh, bit namin ang gagamitin natin uh, to run our WordPress. Although marami pong ano, way para maran po natin yung WordPress. Uh, basically kasi madali siyang gamitin and yun nga po, straightforward siya. Madali po siyang install and later on, pag natapos po itong download, may kita niyo po kung gano'n siya ka-easy to use. So that's it. Malapit na. So just click this one and iraran po yung installer ng WordPress. Anyway, Bitnami is a library installers po. Ah. So, may mahita ka dun para sa mga web applications, also mga virtual machine, saka mga solution stacks. So, uh, we'll click this one. Okay. Ang process lang po is like installing lang po ng kahit na anong application. Just next. Just put in your name and also your email address. Pwede ka rin mag-create ng sarili mong credential. So for now, I'll be using admin and mag-set po ako ng sarili kong password. And click again next. By default po, ang pangalan po ng blog natin would be admin's blog. Uh, for now, I'll just leave it like that. And just click next. Uh, hindi pa naman po natin i-launch yung WordPress sa cloud. So, i-uncheck lang po natin yung button na to. And just click next. And that's it. We'll start na po mag-install ng WordPress. In any case po, uh, binablock po ng firewall menu yung ano, installation. Just allow the access po. Para po mag-push through yung installation ng ating WordPress. So, and if you experience this one, pag binablock po ng firewall natin, just allow the access po. May mga case po talaga na kapag active po yung antivirus or defender natin is inano niya. Uh, binablock niya pansamantala yung installation na, ano, ng any application. So, i-allow niyo lang po yung access. Anyway, trusted naman po yung bit namin. So, wala pong problem. Just a few minutes. Uh, I think we're already done. And that's it. Ganun na po kadali mag-install ng WordPress using uh, bit namin WordPress. Ha? So, now, uh, let's launch our WordPress. Uh, click lang po natin ng finish. And ito po yung window kung saan po successfully natin na-install yung WordPress. Now, to access your WordPress, just kindly click this one. And yan po. Uh, by, by default po, ang, ang ating uh, address is 127.00 and 1. Then, followed by WordPress po. So, if you could see po, uh, ito po yung default na setup ng ating WordPress. Medyo hindi pa po siya maganda, no? Parang super plain lang yan. Pero, uh, in just a few minutes, i-customize po natin yan and papagandahin po natin yan. Now, to access your WordPress po, just kindly type uh, wp-login and just press enter. And uh, to enter, just kindly input your credentials for me, yung admin kanina and yung password na sinet ko. And that's it. Welcome po sa WordPress development area natin. So ayan po, now that we have successfully installed uh, WordPress to our local computer, pwedeng-pwede na po tayong mag-start, mag-build ng ating website.
Pero for now, let us uh, familiarize first yung WordPress window natin. So, if you would hover on this uh, section po, may kita po natin na uh, this would allow us to visit or have a, a rough view of our website. So, uh, by default po, yung pangalan po ng website natin, admins blog. So, just kindly click on this visit site and may kita nyo na po yung itsura ng yung website. Ayan po. Then, balik po tayo dito. So, so, sa dashboard po, we have the main menus and it houses all the tools that we need or we're gonna use to develop our website. So, basically, we have posts. Uh, in this area po, uh, dyan ka po pwedeng gumawa ng mga blog posts. Uh, for example, uh, mag-create ka ng mga uh, news about your school or anything sa events na gusto nyong i-post ka agad. Recently, na mga, mga updates, pwedeng-pwede ka pong gumawa niyan through post. And we also have this uh, tool, which is media. Dito po, nag a tayo ng mga pictures na gagamitin natin for website, mga images po. We also have pages. Okay? Dito tayo nag-create ng mga pages like uh, the homepage and also yung about page. And you can also create pages for your contact. Okay? Kung paano kayo i-contact ng mga clients ninyo. You also have the comments tool. Okay, so people can comment on your post on your or or on your websites if you allow nyo po sila. And also we have appearance. So basically, uh, this you can install. This is where you can install themes. Okay, and pwede ka rin mag customize ng mga installed natin ng mga themes. Mag edit ng mga widgets later on, and mag set ng mga menu, mag create ng mga menu mag-change ng background or if you have a background on programming, pwede ka pong mag-edit dito ng uh, theme editor. Yan. So, below appearance, we, we also have plugins. Dito ka pong mag-install ng mga plugins. So, you can install different plugins and applications na mag extend po ng functionalities ng website natin. And we also have user tools, and settings. And basically, ito pong tatlo na ito is sa back-end na po ito na ating website. So, sa settings po, pwedeng pwede ka pong mag, ano, mag-change dito if uh, how they can view your site, paano nila isa-set yung mga posts mo, and even mga pages na meron ka. So, users, uh, if you want uh, more collaborators for your users, pwedeng pwede po yan. You, you can add uh, new users dito and you can set the limitations kung ano lang po yung pwede nang magawin. You can also change your password like this. Okay? Since this is admin, you can edit admin. Pwede ka rin po mag-change ng color scheme ng WordPress niyo kung gusto niyo po. Ayan, if you want light, midnight, ocean, coffee. <laughs> Sino ang hilig sa sa kape? Ayan. If you are a morning person, sunrise, woo. That's good. But for now, I'll, I'll just go for default. Medyo mas gusto ko yan. So, you cannot change your username by say. Pero pwede ka maglagay ng credentials or, or details about your profile or username. And you can also uh, change your email. Okay? And put a website kung meron kang sabihin ng website. And you can also generate a new password. Ayan. Kung gusto niyo pong mag-generate ng new password, pwede pong gusto niyo mahaba para secure na secure talaga. Kaso hindi ko ito mamemorize kung pag ganito to. Okay. And you can update your profile afterwards. So that's it. Okay. So yan po yung pinating gawin. Pero asap lang hindi ko po isa-save dito kasi kumpiyansa na po ako sa password na ginawa ko. Ayan. Give this side. So ayan. And we knew, we know that meron pong different types of website. Meron pong mga for e-commerce, meron naman po for education, meron naman blog type. Diba? So, uh, we are doing the basics. Gagamit po tayo ng uh, free po ng mga themes and plugins para po makagawa ng ating simple na website. So, now, we'll be adding a new theme. Okay? To add a new theme, just go to Appearance, ayan, hover po natin ang Appearance, and click Themes. So, mapapansin nyo po, pag-click nyo po ng themes, naka-install po dito yung mga default po ng mga themes. Okay, galing po yan kay WordPress. And, and po, ang active natin today is, as of now, is si 2020 na theme. 
Ayan. And yun, yun po yung nakita nyo dito sa, sa rough view ng ating website. Ayan. Yan po si 2020 na team. Okay? So, we will be using a free na team and napakarami pong ano, teams na available sa, sa WordPress and since we are just doing the basics, gagamit po tayo ng medyo flexible and pwedeng pwede po sa mga beginner na, na team. Okay? Okay, let's paano po mag a ng team? Just click this big add new team na square. Okay? And in, you will see yung mga featured po ng mga teams. You can also check the popular teams. Depende po kung ano yung gusto nyo gamitin. But for now, for our example, we will be using a uh, flexible nga team and that is Ocean WP. So once na ma-search na po siya dito, just uh, kung gusto nyo makita yung figure niya, just click this one kung ano pong maging itsura niya. Ayan. So basically, I am suggesting to use uh, Ocean WP kasi medyo clean siya and minimalist lang po yung itsura niya. Although you can further enhance uh, the display of this theme, pero for now, we will be using this para sa ating example. Okay? Just click install. Once na na-install na po natin, okay, let's go back first. Once na na-install na po natin, just click activate. Ayan po. So, check nga po natin kung nag-effect na po yung team, okay. Balik po tayo dito sa ating rough view. We'll just refresh this one. And ayun na po. Nag-apply na po yung team natin which is Ocean W E. Ayan po. During the installation po natin, ah, uh, some of the teams po would be requiring or be recommending for mga plugins para po gumana siya ng mas mabuti. So, at this case, uh, meron pong nire-recommend na plugin sa atin si Ocean WP na team. So, just begin installing those plugins. Ayan. So, ano po ba yung mga plugins? Mga helpful applications po to para expand yung functionality ng website po natin. So, para ma-utilize natin yung full capability ng ng ano na to ng certain team na to ito po yung nire-recommend niya na install natin ng mga plugin we have Elementor okay Ocean Extra and WP Form so just kindly click this arrow para ma, ma check box para ma select natin siya lahat and then bulk actions will be installed So, yun po, magsisend naman po ng, ano yan, ng notice that all installations and activations have been complete. Ibig sabihin po, inactivate na rin niya po yung ating mga plugins. Now, if you want to check kung saan po siya banda na install, so meron po tayo dito sa tool natin sa menu, okay, sa menu ng plugin. You can see all the installed plugins na meron po tayo. Oops. Plugins. Ayan po. So, ayan. We already have Elementor, Ocean Extra, and WP Form Flight. If you could see, medyo marami pong naka-install na na plugin. And by default po, sinama na po ito ni Bitnami. Ayan. Pero hindi pa po siya activated yung iba. But then, yung ni-require po or ni-recommend ni ng team na Ocean WP, ayan po, automatically, inactivate na po niya and gumagana na po yan. So, in case na meron po kayong na-research or na-discover na another plugin or you wanted to install another plugin uh, to your website, you, you'll just need to click this one, add new. And 
WordPress will be giving you the list ng napakarami pong mga plugins na you could install and use to develop your website. So you also have the popular, okay, mga recommended, mga plugins, okay, WooCommerce. You can also set the SEO, ayan, mga forms. You can also check kung ano po yung in-offer ng, ng plugin na yan by clicking it. You, you could have the description, yung statistics din po kung ilan pong beses siya din-download, and ilan pong star siya nakuha niya sa review, installation, mga frequently asked questions. So meron po yun siya dyan. If you want to install another plugin. So now that we have finally installed our theme, and our plugin, ready and ready na po tayo i-customize ang ating website. Now, uh, we will start customizing our page. So, just go back to your ano po, uh, rough view of your page. And if you can see, meron po dito nakalagay na customize. We'll start customizing first the theme. Okay? Bago tayo gumawa ng mga pages and gumawa ng mga posts, ang una natin i-customize for now is yung theme mismo. So, by default po, meron pong ano po, uh, mga functionalities yung theme natin na pwede natin ma-tweak or ma-edit po. So just click Customize. And yun po, may kita nyo po yung mga attributes or features ng themes natin na pwede natin ma-edit. So if you can see, we have Site Identity. Ayan po. May kita po natin dyan yung site title natin and yung tagline. So basically, you could change this one. Kunwari, uh, it would be for your school. For my example, I'll be using pangalanan natin ng school ko na ABC. Okay, and it, it would be a senior high school. And yung tagline natin would be where wisdom is valuable. So once na i-publish po natin yan and we click Publish, mag effect na po yung data. Pero actually, nakikita nyo na po yung changes dito nyo na. And so publish. We now change our site title and tagline. And also, marami po po siya dito ng mga uh, features like menus. You can set menu, pero skip po muna natin yan later on gagawa tayo ng menus. And also, we have widgets. By default po, meron po siyang default sidebar. Okay, ito po yung default sidebar niya. Nakikita niyo po ba? We have search. Yeah, open po natin. Ayan, we have search. Meron siyang recent post and recent comments. And nasa loob po ng default sidebar niya, yung mga widgets na yan. We also have the footer. Yung footer po natin is yung nasa baba later on. Dito yan siya. Nakikita niyo po ba itong copyright? Pwede natin lagyan later on yan. Uh, may up sa baba niya ng mga footer, ng mga widgets. And also, you have the homepage settings, which you can set either na ang homepage mo, may kita yung mga latest posts. As of now, if you could see, uh, yung default na post is yung hello world. Kaya yan po yung nakikita nyo. Kasi ang nakadisplay po is yung latest post. Pero pwede ka rin mag-set naman ng page kung meron kang page. Okay? Okay, like this, and you can select sample page, and you can uh, select also kung saan page mo ilalagay yung mga posts. Pero let's just leave it like right now, okay? Meron din po tayong mga general options. So, mga styling, mga colors, pwede nyo pong iset siya. Primary color, main border color, like this one. And for me, uh, hindi ko muna siya babaguhin kasi gusto, gusto ko po yung medyo plain lang. And also... We have the general settings, ang layouts niya, pwedeng pwede nyo rin po siyang maguhin. Okay, for now we'll just uh, leave that one. Okay, we have the page title, kung ano po yung visibility niya on all devices. Ibig sabihin, uh, pwede mo pong ipakita sa, sa lahat ng devices. If you can see this one, kasi responsive po ang WordPress. Pag nagde-develop tayo, you could, you could have a view of your laptop. Dito po sa baba banda, if you could see this one, pwede siyang makita mo kung anong view niya on, 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 a, on a computer or just a computer or a laptop. Pwede rin so ang itsura niya sa, sa tablet. Ayan, ganyan yung itsura niya sa tablet. Pwede mo rin siyang i-show kung 
anong itsura niya sa mobile so this one so if you could set this one sa show on devices pwede pwede pa siya pero kung i-hide mo siya hindi siya makita ayan yung title niya okay so basically we're we'll, we're gonna show that one yan sa sa page title you can set also the heading tag heading each one is medyo malaki po yan siya each two is uh the next bigger size and po scroll the top pagination okay forms marami ka po pwede i, i, i ano dito i explore na galawin pero hindi po muna natin ga uh, uh, anuhan yan i focus on you also have the typography so basically it talks about the font styles okay so general kung ano pong gusto niyo font you can meet in, sa body, okay. Sa logo po, ano kung uh, font ang gusto nyo pong gamitin sa, sa logo ninyo, sa top bar, okay. And also have the top bar, ayan. The top bar po uh, refers to this one. So nakita nyo pong place content here. Ito po yung top bar po natin. So, naka-enable po siya. Pwede nyo po siyang i-full width. Pero I think medyo, medyo OA naman kung, <laughs> kung isasagot ko siya. Pero depende po yan sa pag-ano nyo, sa pag-design uh, nyo ng website nyo. Pero for me, hindi ko po siya isasagot. Okay, so you have the content. You can you can change the content here. Uh, for example, I'll just place here a text na lang muna. Okay, uh, ang school namin is open from sabi na 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Ayan, so we're done. Okay, kita nyo po nang pa, nang bago siya. That is the content part. And also, you can set your uh, social media. Enable natin yung social media. Ayan po. You can see, may meron ditong mga selections. Uh, social link target, uh, it means na kapag clinic yung icon na yan, magbubuka siya ng another window. Pero kung ayaw nyo, Pwede namang sa same window lang. Pero for me, I prefer na buksan niya yung social um, accounts ko or ng school natin sa another window. Ayan. Font size, pwede rin yung set Okay? And now, dito ka po pwede maglagay ng link. Nakikita niyo po itong mga vacant spaces dito po. Ayan, pwede ka po maglagay ng link ng ating mga social media accounts. So, for example, I'll just open my Facebook. Okay, wow. Nakalagay na pala ako. Okay. I'll just take this one. For, just for an example lang po. Ilagay natin sa Twitter. If you can see, naglumabas na po yung icon ng Twitter. We also have the icon ng Facebook. Or Google Plus, kung meron po kayo. And basically, Instagram, LinkedIn. Yan po yung... Yung LinkedIn po pala is Facebook ng mga professionals daw. We also... Kung meron kayong YouTube... Okay, pwede, pwede natin ilagay yan. And also, if you have an email, just kindly put an email. Kasi, na valid. I think, hindi siya mag effect pag hindi valid yung email natin. For example po, ang um, ilagay natin is ito. O, oh, hindi siya lalabas. So, basically, oh, pwede, pwede pala kayo mag-undo dito ah. Control Z. <laughs> Ayan. So, if you can see, lumabas na po yung ating mga social media icons. Pwede nyo pong laki-lakihan, okay? Like, uh, ayan, increase po natin ng konti yung sizes. So, it would be visible. Ang padding po is yung, yung gano'n po kalaki yung mga spaces from above or for, for, from below or from left to right. So, pwede nyo pong i-increase this one. Ayan, padding po niya. Pero I think it's really good. Ganyan po. Mga 6 lang po. Okay. Now, uh, if you could see this portion po, social link colors and social links over. Pag sinabing social link colors po, it, ito po yung by default na color niya pag, pag na-view na po natin yung site. Yung hover po is once na mag-hover po yung mouse, magpapalit po siya ng color. Like, let's try to set this one to blue, siguro. Ayan, para makita ninyo. Ayan. So, pag nag-hover ka na po sa mga social media icons natin, 
Nag-chishin siya. Tapos meron siyang ano, meron siyang variety or meron siyang somewhat effect. Ayan. So, nakikita niyo na po. So, we could set up na yan po. Yung top bar po natin. Next one is header po. Uh, dito po, hindi po natin i-discuss lahat. Basically, you can see we have general header media. Pwede ka pong mag-set dito ng, ng video po. Like example po, uh, search YouTube. Okay. And uh, latest Oops, magbong ganyan. Pero basically, hindi ko po ina-advise na maglagay po kayo ng YouTube na ano dito. Kasi mag -e effect po siya sa buong page po ninyo. Header po kasi dito. Ayan. If you are really sure na yan po yung gusto nyo ilagay, okay lang po. Pero for now, for, just for an example po, makita nyo po kung ano pong effect niya pag naglagay kayo ng, ng URL dyan. Okay. Ganyan po ang nangyayari. Or you could select your own video. Pwede ka pong mag-upload ng file ninyo. Kunwari, may mga, meron kayong promotional video sa school. Like, uh, ano nga yung medyo sikat last time? Kung paano maghugas ng kamay, paano may iwasan yung corona, coronavirus. Pwede, pwede nyo pong ilagay yan. Yung mga overlay colors po natin. Ayan po. Hindi na po natin gagalawin. For now, yeah, you, could, you could explore ha. Uh, you are not limited. But for now, for just tutorial po, uh, I'm just showing you kung ano-ano po yung pwede natin i-change. But then, uh, I'll just stick lang po kung ano yung mga basics na pwede natin i-paguin. And we also have the logo. Ito po medyo importante sa mga schools that we display our logo. Siyempre, diba? <laughs> Yun yung medyo, pag nakita ko yung logo, uy, alam mo mga kayo, uy, dyan ako nag-work. So, we can change the logo uh, like this. Uh, pwede, meron po akong uh, prepared na po na logo na gusto kong i-upload. Ayan. So, I'll be using th this banner. Ayan. You just upload. By by practice po, we, we do advice na once na meron po kayong mga images, lagyan nyo po ng alt text. So, ano po ba yung alt text po? Uh, ito po yung alternative text. Once na hindi po mag-load yung picture nyo sa website, at least, lalabas po itong alt text. Alam, malalaman po ng nag-visit ng site nyo na, ah, school banner pala ito. Hindi nga lang nag-load. Ayan. So, may, mas much better po lagyan nyo ng, oops, ang link ang nailagay ko. I'll just copy this title. Okay, and school banner. Ayan. Selected na po siya. Select. I guess I'll skip the cropping. Sure, So, meron na po tayong logo. And medyo malaki nga lang po siya. So, you could adjust naman po dito sa baba uh, the max width and the max height. I think the size would be, bigyan natin siya ng 120 na, na height. Okay, I think that's good. Menu. Wala pa naman tayo mga menu. So, and social media. Okay. We'll just skip that one. You can also change the blog, blog entries, single posts. Marami po kayong pwedeng explore sa basic po na mga features ng ating theme. Okay. Sidebar. Okay, basically settings lang po ito. We also have footer widgets. And the footer bottom. Now, yung copyright po, uh, it, they make it easy for you po. So, we'll just change this one. Nakikita nyo po yung portion na to. Change po natin yan na copyright 2020 and pangalan po ng ating school, ABCHX. Ayan. So, the copyright is already nakalagay na po sa ilan. Ayan. Custom CSS. Kung meron po kayong mga CSS styles, pwedeng pwede nyo rin pong gamitin po yan to change. And basically, those are the things lang po muna na i-edit natin or i-customize. Uh, we want our, our first website to be simple and also malinis tingnan po siya. So basically, uh, we already place our social media icons here. Nag-set na rin po tayo ng contents. Okay, we have placed our logo. 
And para hindi po masaya yung mga customization na ginawa natin, okay? Kailangan po natin siyang i-publish. Pero let's take a look muna kung ano yung sa tablet. Okay, ito po yung tsura niya in tablet. And also in mobile. I think this is good. Now na meron na tayong initial na customization ng ating teams, so we have already placed our logo and also our uh, social media icons here, the content. Uh, I think we are already, you know, uh, we can now already create a page para sa ating website. But uh, before we create a page, uh, mag-install mag, mag muna ako ng plugin. Kailangan ko ng tulong ng isang plugin para po makalawa tayo later on ng mas madali ng mga pages. So, I'll just go to plugins. Ayan po. And I'll just click add new. So, po mag add new po tayo. And afterwards, we will be searching for a plugin with the name Starter Templates. Ayan. So once again, yung templates po, yung, yung mga plugins po, I mean, uh, in-expand ito yung functionalities ng ating website. So this time, I'll be installing Starter Templates, Elementor, Beaver Builder, yan, yeah, good good. So no, meron po siyang 500,000 active installations, so trusted po ito. And uh, yun nga, sabi niya, Starter Templates, so we will see later on kung bakit Starter Templates ang pangalan niya. At gano'n siya ka, daling gamitin. Install, then activate po. Alright, cool. Uh, so we already have, I think we already have everything we might need later on to development. Now to add a page, uh, we will go back to our dashboard. Opo. And also look at the tools. Okay, dito po sa page tool. And then afterwards, click add new. So, as we have mentioned earlier, gagawa po tayo ngayon ng homepage na tinatawag. Okay? Hindi pa natin na-set yung homepage natin. So, papangalanan po natin itong home. Okay? Now, uh, the important part of this is magsa-set po tayo ng template niya na attributes. So, if you could look on the lower uh, section of your screen, meron po dito page attributes. So, I'll just set this one to elemental full width. Okay? Uh, ano pong mangyayari pag sinet natin yan sa uh, full width? Uh, basically, ito po yung, ano eh, yung itsura ng team natin kung naka-default siya. If you could see, uh, we have this default sidebar being shown. Pero kapag full width po natin, i-occupy po ni uh, elementor yung buong canvas natin yan. Okay, yeah? Yung buong width ng ating uh, page. So, let's try to apply. So, ipapublish ko po ito. Wala na po ako masyadong babaguhin. And I'll not be using blocks. Kung gusto nyo po, pwede nyo pong pag-aaralan kung paano gumawa ng mga blocks. Uh, pwede kayong mag-add ng image, ng paragraphs, ng headings, ng gallery. Okay? You can just click that one. Uh, add another. Okay? But then, uh, I'll, I will not be using blocks to to uh, build our page. But rather, meron tayong gagamitin page builder mamaya na mas easy. Okay, so I'll just leave it like that. And just click publish. Para magkaroon tayo ng home page. Ayan, so naka-live na po ito. And basically, uh, if you could, if you will click in in the title, makikita niyo po yung permalink. Ayan, so just a while ago, dinidiscuss po ni Miss Faith kung ano po yung uh, function ng permalink. And ito yung maganda sa WordPress kasi pinapaganda niya yung URL ng ating mga pages. Ayan. So instead na mga 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 person sign or anything, it's it's just uh, the name of your site later on kung makapag-register kayo tapos magkaroon ng domain. The name of your website, then forward slash home na lang po yan siya. So are you excited po to edit this page already? Oh, super excited na po po. Now, since we are beginners and uh, I do advise gagamit po tayo ng Elementor, okay? A, a different approach. Gagamit tayo ng page builder which is called Elementor para po i-edit yung ating homepage. So, nakikita nyo po itong button sa taas, Edit with Elementor. Just click that one. 
and it will take you to the page where you can edit or customize or build your page. So basically, ito yung itsura ng ating homepage. Wala pa siyang laman. And dahil naka full width po siya, ayan, extend na extend po siya. Wala po siyang sidebar or anything dito. Okay. Iko-cover niya yung space dyan sa taas. So basically, uh, it's like a drag and drop lang po na paggawa. So para ka lang nagdo-drawing dito. So if, if you would like to add widgets, so ang free version po ng Elementor, may mga basic widgets po siya na ina-offer. Meron din naman kung if you want to advance, meron siyang uh, mga widgets for the pro version, pero syempre may bayad po ito, hindi po siya libre. But then uh, I think the, the free version is already enough for us to create a simple website. So basic lang po tayo. So we'll just be creating a simple website. We'll just be adding page. Yun lang naman po ang target natin dito. And we add posts. And later on, magkaroon tayo ng contact page. And malive po natin ito. So for now, for our homepage, uh, if you want to try to build uh, with Elementor, you just need to add a section. If you could see in this, ano, in this area, meron po tayong plus sign, tapos meron tayong folder. Okay. Uh, you just need to click this one. If you need to add a widget, okay? Just need to click this one and mag add po siya ng section. Now, if you want to edit this particular section po, you need to click this six grid na icon. Ayan, para ma-edit natin siya. So basically, if uh, I would set this to be a header, pwede pong palitan ko po yung background niya like you could go to style ito po nakikita niyo yung layout niya naka box po siya okay and you could edit the style and the background you could set a background type na classic or basically yung likod niya or yung background niya it can be placed with an image so for for this example I'll be adding this one okay may insert na po tayo ng media. Okay. I-upload na po tayo. So, ayan po. Pwede nyo pong i-change yung background niya. So, basically, ang, ang late niya po, no? Ganyan lang po. In-occupy niya lang po kasi yung, yung, ano, yung default na size ng ating uh, section na yan. So, yung background na yan, in-occupy niya lang yung, ano, yung size ng section na yan. Uh, if you, in case you want nga spread it out, uh, you can just edit the section, go to advance. Balik po tayo dito sa left side po natin na, na, na pane. You could go to advance. Pwede ka po maglagay ng padding. So, let's say, ang top mo po maglagay ka po ng 250. So, link values together po. Once na, ano, nakikita niyo po ba itong button na ito? Once, once, once it's uh, enabled or click, uh, kung ano pong sinet niyo na value dito, na-affect na po lahat. So let's try nga, ibalik sa zero. And, and uncheck natin ito. Like, you only want nga ang top mo is magkaroon ng ganyan. And ang bottom magkaroon ng padding ng 250 din. Ayan. Basically, ganyan lang siya. Okay. Pwede mo siyang i-increase dyan. Pero let's see. Another way para i-increase mo yung size na yan is is you edit the section, you add another widget. So, para po mag-add ng another widget, you just have to click this six grid na icon and pwede ka pong mag-drag and drop na lang ng mga widgets. Like, if ito yung header natin na, 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 na image or hero header image natin, pwede ka mag-drop na lang ng heading dito na text. Okay, like, uh, learn fast. Learn more. Ayan. Wala pong mauisap na ibang i-type. So, yan lang muna. <laughs> or, or you can add another one. Just for an example po. Okay. And may kita nyo po. Dahan-dahan po siya nag-extend. Nag-occupy siya ng space dyan. Okay. But if lagyan pa po natin siya ng image. Ano ba? Oh, yan po. Medyo lumalaki po siya mo. So basically, it's like that po. So, I'll just delete this uh, image po. Okay. Just click. So basically, uh, meron po tayo may mga, may mga portions po dito kung paano natin edit. Uh, if you want to edit the section, uh, click po itong 
uh, 6 grid na icon. If you want to edit a particular column, ayan po, naka-gray naman po siya. Okay, may sarili rin pong mga attributes ito na pwede niyo pong i-edit like the style. Basically, you can change um, you can change the style, you can change the typography. Basically, it talks about the the, the, the font style, the font color, and the text color, and then heading color, naka blue, pwede mo siyang green. Anything. Okay? Pwede, pwede po yan. Style, okay. The typography, medyo hindi natin nabasa, di ba? So, I'll just set the text color, okay? Let's get this one by, by default. Or let's write this one in uh, yellow. Next color is yellow. Title now is yellow. Okay. We'll just remove the image. This one. Okay. You can also set, like, try muna natin maglagay ng padding dito. So we could see the whole view ng image. Kagandaan pa po dito is you could set the layout po. Uh, like, ang, ang image po natin, you could set the position to center-center. And, and ang size po niya, you could set is as cover para po maganda po siya tingnan. Okay? You can also place this text po sa different locations. Like, you could align it to left. Oh, no. Ang naklik ko po is justified. Okay, content you can align it to right. Dito po siya. Para mas makita po siya, you could change the color of the text to. Mm -hmm. the text color. You could change the text color or rather the, the heading color and heading nga po pala ito hindi siya text okay or place it like that you could set the sizes okay style kung gusto nyo medyo lumaki laki siya pwede rin kulang siya ng h1 and Okay. Basically, you can add more sections if you like. Pwede ka po maglagay dito ng uh, images ninyo sa pag-build mo po ng another images. Mga featured images like uh, mga horses for, for, for the next na mga popular courses na ino-offer ng school nyo. As, as like for my example, uh, senior high school kasi itong balak natin going website. So basically may mga courses or may mga strand kaya na gusto mo i-offer. Okay? So you could you could add many things pa po. Just kindly click this ano po? Six, nine grid na, na na icon. So you can add more like buttons and videos if you wish. Okay? Pwede pwede ka po mag-add ng mga videos. Okay? Pwede ka rin mag-add ng dividers. And so basically, you can you can re basically add anything from these widgets, na whatever you like sa sa uh, sa sa homepage mo, okay? Para sure, ang homepage po yung unang unang may kita ng mga mung visit ng site natin, so it should be somewhat uh, describe everything all about what the page is, okay? So nandun na po yung mga gusto ng sabi about about our school or anything na fini-feature natin, okay? So, it's, it's that's just easy para po makapag-edit at makapag-upload ng mga files, okay? 
But then for now, uh, for the sake of our discussion, I will not be pursuing this one. Hindi po tayo create from scratch. But rather, uh, we will be using the help of a tinatawag natin na plugin, which is starter templates. So basically, I will delete everything first. The sections. Okay. Let's just check kung... Ayan po. Nireload ko lang po siya. Just to let you show na na-activate na po natin. Oops. Na-activate na po natin yung uh, plugin na starter templates. So, instead of doing everything in scratch, ito po yung kagandahan sa, ano po, sa pag-advance ng technology natin ngayon. Hindi na po kailangan isa-isa natin yung paggawa ng website. But rather, through WordPress and through the plugins na meron po tayo na ini-install natin in WordPress, pwede, pwede tayo mag-create ng homepage ng hindi ganun kahirap or hindi ganun katagal. So, papakita po natin yan. So, basically, it's either gumamit ka ng templates na ina-offer ni Elementor. Okay? So, ito po. You can see this uh, folder icon. May mga templates po na ina-offer si Elementor. Some of them are free. And then most probably, marami po ang free na versions. Pero, mas marami po rin ang mga pro or paid version. Yan po may mga nakalagay na pro. Ang important lang naman po sa paghahanap natin ng template is uh, hindi naman actually yung content na mayroon siya doon. But then the design, if it looks like the website na gusto natin gawin. Okay? Ito ba? Ganito ba yung gusto mong gawin? So we, you, you can take a look by just clicking uh, uh, the templates. Ayan. Pwede, pwede ka tumingin kung anong itsura ng mga template na design sa yan. This one. And if you could see na ito na yung perfect para sa ginagawa mong website, pwede, pwede mong i-insert yan siya. Okay? But for this time, for the sake of discussion, I'll be using the, the templates na ina-offer na starter templates. And, and po, meron din siyang mga free version and meron din siyang mga paid version. Lahat mo nang nakikita nyo ito may mga agency na nakalagay. Uh, hindi po yan libre. But then marami rin po ang libre dito. So you can also... Ganyan, para mas mabilis natin makita. Sort the free versions. Madami rin po, no? But since we are uh, just building uh, a simple website about your school, uh, we'll be using this one. I'll be using Learn Dash Academy na, na templates. And so, ito po yung homepage niya. Just I think it's already good for us. Meron din po siyang all courses. The about page and the contact page. Malinis po siya tingnan. No? So, I think uh, one thing na maganda kasi for four schools is malinis tingnan yung, yung ating website and madali po siyang gamitin. So, I'll be using this one para sa ating homepage. I'll just click import template. And that's it. It would help us to create our homepage na hindi po mahirap. Basically, halos tapos na nga po ito eh. All, all we need to do is just to make some uh, customization base dun sa pangailangan natin sa school. So, they already have this hero image. Yan. Pag sinabi hero image, kasi yan yung pinakamalaking image dyan sa, ano eh, sa, sa certain page, page na yan. So, if you want to edit this one, okay, sama-sama po natin i-edit. Uh, like, uh, just click this six grid, okay, na icon, which is, meron din po siya lumalabas na text zone na edit section. Then, just go to style. And change the image dito po sa portion nito. By the way, uh, balik po tayo ng konti. This is on the classic background type, ha? Pwede ka rin mag-gradient, depende sa'yo. Pwede rin naman video. Mag-attach ka dito ng video. Okay, kung gusto mong video ang header mo. Okay, and we also have the slideshow. Oh, marami pwedeng gawin, di ba? But then, we'll go to classic. Kasi mga classic people nga daw mga sweet. Hindi, joke lang. Uh, we'll go to classic kasi uh, we'll, we'll be changing this one with this particular image na napili ko. Okay, kasi may mga sudyante. Ayun! So, napalitan na po siya. If you could see, the positioning was already center left. 
the attachment is scroll. Uh, yung attachment po ito is once na mag-scroll ka, is sumasama siya pataas. But then, if you want to change this one to fix, tingnan nyo po yung difference. Aha. Uh -huh. Ayan. Hindi siya sumasama sa pag-scroll. Oh. Ayan. So that's the difference. Pero I'll be using scroll for this one. And yung positioning po natin would be, ilalagay ko siya sa center, center siguro. No, not much change. So I'll just leave center left na lang. Okay. And now, uh, pwede rin nyo rin pong, ano, mas ma-emphasize yung text dito. So we'll just click uh, background overlay. Nandito pa rin po tayo sa style na tab niya. So, naka-gradient po itong ano, overlay niya. So, we could choose somewhat colors na medyo malapit doon sa ating logo. Like, uh, we'll have uh, a red one na dark. Ayan. Darker. Darker pa more. Hindi. Hindi na. It's blue. I think the opacity is already good. Okay. So, you, you can also change uh, this one. Uh, this is an image box na ginamit nila. Pero you could, you could have this on, sa, sa text. So you, you can change anything na gusto nyo pong ilagay dito. For now, I'll just leave it kasi example lang naman po natin. But again, you can change the colors if you wish. Okay, sa content. Okay. Description, the color, this one. Ready yan siya. But medyo okay na ako dyan. So I'll just leave it. We also have a button here. So, ang type niya is default. Okay, default. Pwede ka rin naman mag-set as an info, success, or warning, or danger. Okay, but naka-default siya, pero okay na po yan. Now, if you could see, uh, this one text is basically what you can see on that button. Yan, view courses. Ito pong link is, uh, pwede ka mag-set ng certain ano po, uh, URL or permalink kung saan mo gustong i-redirect sila once na clinic nila yung button. Ayos, di ba? So, in case na i-click ko to, I'll just leave it as view courses. So, para pag-clinic nyo to mamaya, i-clinic natin to mamaya, i-redirect naman tayo sa, sa page kung saan nandun yung mga courses natin. So, it's okay na. Hindi na ako maglalagay ng icon. It's good. But then, you can still change the icons, okay? If you wish. Meron din siya dito. Uh, let's just check. May mga libre kasing icon dito na ano binibigay si Elementor like arrow so yun, let's try this arrow so yun po kita nyo po magkaroon siya icon okay you can set the icon before or or after bahala, bahala po kayo mag-store kung ano pong gusto nyo there's also spacing what's really ano po amazing with this one is ang dali-dali lang niya po mag-edit po Click ka lang dyan, tapos you can change the content, the style, okay? And you, you can change the, uh, anything, okay? Sa advanced po, meron din po tayo, okay? Meron din po siyang tinatawag na motion effects. So, ano po yung motion effects? Pakita po natin. If you could, if you would uh, click this one, fade in, ayan. So, once na mag lumabas po o yung page na yan, ganyan po yung magiging animation niya, okay? Pero... Instead of animation, I'll be using a hover style na lang. So, we'll go back to style. So, hover. So, once na mag-hover dito yung mouse, iti-change ko siya. Ang, ang text color niya would be white. And siguro gagamit ako sa background color niya ng medyo stronger na color. Aha, uh -huh, red. You love red. Ano bang medyo yung... Green? No, it's really not this one. Okay. I think this is good. Pinkish, conte or red there. Okay. Medyo pasok na rin po siya sa color ng ating logo. Ayan, para medyo ano po siya. Medyo meron po siyang coordination sa ating logo. Ayan. And also, you can set, click this one. Pwede nyo rin po iset yung colors nito or icons na gusto nyo pong gamitin. For me, uh, okay na po ito. I'll just change the color of the text siguro. Style. This one is on the content. 
the title change natin sa black you and also the description to the black yeah style lang po tayo nag edit black The stars, pwede siguro natin going red din, no? Para bagay sa ating, ano, sa ating logo. Pero hindi <laughs> ko lang alam kung itsura nito, <laughs> kung red din siya. Reddish na medyo pagka... Check na natin yung ating logo, okay? Uh, let's go with the icon now, just... Pinakamalapit. I think it's good. <laughs> nice now. So just copy the color here and then style and the icon color. Pwede nyo pong i-paste na lang dito. So if you have Photoshop po, pwede nyo kunin na lang yung hex values if you ito and then just paste it there. Okay. We're good this one. Hindi ko po siya tatanggalin ha. I think this is good. At punta po tayo sa our most popular courses. Basically, uh, they've been using a short code. Uh, but for now, hindi natin gagamitin yung short code for this one. Rather, I'll be deleting this one. And uh, instead, uh, maglalagay po ako ng mga images para sa ating popular courses. So, if you want to edit again the section, Kung nakikita niyo po may sinusundan siyang template kasi gusto ko ma-sustain itong ano, ng kanyang wave. Ayan. So, hindi natin i-delete ito. Pag dinilit natin ito, baka matanggal din pati yung, ano, yung wave na yan na, ano, na template. So, instead, we will be adding another section inside. So, just click edit section. Then, this grid icon. Then, we will be dragging inner section. So, sa loob ng inner section na yan, mag a naman po tayo ng image ng mga courses na gusto natin uh, i-feature like this. So you can choose the image once again. So basically here, uh, I'll be choosing this one, gas. By the way, by, by practice po, importante na maglagay ka ng alt text. So that kung hindi, kung hindi po mag-load yung image na yan, at least meron kang text na nag-describe kung ano po yung image na yan. In case lang po na hindi mag-load. Uh, may mga times po kasi ganun talaga na nag-load yung, yung page, certain page, pero yung mga images medyo hindi po siya nag-load. So, pag may, meron po tayong alternative text or alt text dito na nakalagay, at least may description ka kung ano yung, class, ano yung image na yan. So, insert media. Okay. Again, you can change the image size. Okay. Pero for me, okay na po ito. Large. Hindi naman siya masyado nag-occupy yung space. Hindi liit pa naman po yan pag nag-add tayo ng another, ng another column. So, you could set the alignments also. Caption po. Uh, we'll be using custom caption. Kasi magsiset tayo ng pangalan nito. Ang pangalan ng course would be GAS or General Academic Strength. Tama po ba, mga teachers? Kung mali po ako, pakiana lang ah. Pakisabi na lang po. <laughs> so, you can also set the link for this one. So, media file or... Uh, custom URL. Media file basically is pag clinic mo to is nagzo-zoom lang po siya. Yun po yung nangyayari. Pero for me, I'll be using this one to redirect us to another page. So instead of media file, I'll be choosing custom URL. Para later on, pag clinic mo tong page na to, idadirect ka niya doon sa page kung nasaan yung general academic strand. So every, everything that explains about gas na, na strand. So, let's leave blank lang muna sa link na to. You can change the styles. Once again, uh, you are free to explore habang gumagawa po kayo on your side. By the way po, uh, we are requiring all of you na ano po, at least you create your your website locally like us. Uh, if you could ano, follow uh, uh, what we are discussing as of now. Uh, sundan nyo po, tapos gumawa rin po kayo ng mga pages na ginagawa po namin. Because we are requiring you to send at least a screenshot of those pages na nagawa po ninyo. Okay? And later on, kung mahabol po natin, ilalive po natin yung website na ginawa ninyo. Ayos po? Ayos po. So, yun. 
uh, you can change the captions, the color. Siguro text color lang gag ang babaguhin ko dito. Be black. Ang hili ko sa black mo. And the typography, basically the, the font style. Hanapin po natin yung kaibigan ng lahat ng designers, which is Helvetica. I just, I think this is good already. Ayan po. So one of my courses na if you feature is guest or general academic strength. Now, uh, ito po yung kagandahan. Kasi uh, sa page builder na to, pwede po tayo mag-copy and paste. So, hindi ko na po kailangang mag-add ulit ng panibago dito na image, tapos i-edit ko na naman po ulit. But rather, since I'll be doing a repetitive na, na, na customizing, I'll just be copying this column na lang. Okay? Paano po yun? Just click on the column, and po. Copy that one, and then click on this section, and then paste po tayo. Diba? Ganun lang po siya kandali. So, I think I'll be featuring three courses here. So, I'll just delete this empty one and anad, add another one. I'll just edit the others. Papalitan ko lang pong pictures. I'll be using this one, Humes. So, insert media. In case po na hindi po pare-parehas yung, ano po, yung uh, sizes ng ating mga images, you can, you can uh, change the size by custom. So, like this one, I think we could set this one to 768 by 513. Hopefully, tama po yung... Okay. It's it's good. And, po, and then, change the caption to Yums, which is humanities and social sciences. And this one, I'll just... Uh, huh? Wala na po. Yun na po. Let's change ko yan. Then, this one for ICT. I'll be changing this caption to ICT or Information and Communications Technology. Ayos. Maganda na po. So, we already have this popular courses na ina-offer natin. Now, Siguro para medyo, medyo meron siyang ano, uh, parang emphasis, I'll be adding uh, an animation for this one. So, I'll just click this one in column. Okay, edit natin. Then, advance and then motion effects. Po, punta tayo sa motion effects. Sa entrance niya, maglalagay po ko ng animation which is, I think, fade in. Let's check. Okay. Fade in is good. This one also advanced motion effects fade in advanced motion effects fade in ayan po baba po tayo ng konti so I like their ano po, template na meron silang image ng CEO so for example lang po sa discussion natin ito po yung itsura na ng ating CEO <laughs> so again you can you can change the content the picture, the, the caption, okay, the style, bala po kayo. But for now, for me, uh, okay na po yung itsura nito. And if you can see in this portion, meron din silang inad na accordion. Basically, yung accordion po is meron siyang uh, drop down. You could, you, could, ano, you could change anything na nakikita nyo dito, okay? As a practice po, uh, kung mag edit po tayo ng, ng mga text or or any content na meron po is dito po tayo sa left side mag-edit mag po. So, just click this one and you you can have the contents. Pwede nyo po siyang palitan. So, just type anything that you, you like. But for now, I'll just leave it like that kasi okay naman po yung ano niya. Dami lang naman po itong text natin na ginagamit. Now, uh, kung may mga industry partners kayo or any partners for the school, pwede nyo pong ilagay ang kanilang mga logo. Basically, this, this is just an image gallery na in-insert nila in this uh, specific na, na template. Okay, pwede nyo pong palitan dito like our partners. Okay. And we also have uh, testimonials. Basically, in lang din po tong testimonials. How to add testimonials, you can, you, you'll just edit the section and just click this six screen na uh, icon. 
and we also have uh, here sa ating ano sa ating general na widgets we have testimonials ayun po pwede niyo lang po siya i-drag mga social icons sound cloud short code and po. anything here can be drag and drop lang po for me okay naman po na meron ano testimonials kasi the more the people talk about your school syempre good or positive na mga things the more likely na mag-enroll diyan yung mga estudyante tama po ba Diyan, mga, the more likely na mag-enroll mga parents, they will enroll their their children on on your school. Ayan, so basically, this would be the face of our homepage. Ayos po. So para hindi po masayang ang ginawa natin, we'll just click update. And then afterwards, nakikita niyo po ba tong hamburger button dito sa left side? Just click that hamburger button and then punta tayo dito sa more para makita natin yung itsura ng ating page. So basically, this would be your homepage. Ayan. Cool. Ulitin ko. Kita niyo yung ano niyo. Refresh natin. Baka hindi niyo nakita yung animation. Ayun. <laughs> Mabilis lang yung fade in niya eh. But you can set down about uh, the speed of that animation. And now, the, ganun lang po kadali. We already have our homepage. So now na nagawa na po natin yung ating homepage, uh, this time, pag bumalik po tayo dito sa ating website, uh, i-refresh natin. Hindi pa rin po siya na set. Okay? So basically, yung default pa rin po na na post yung nandiyan na nakikita natin. So yung ginawa nating website, hindi pa po siya nakikita. So meron po pong two ways kung paano natin i-set uh, this page na ginawa natin to be the home page. Para pag nag uh, visit sila ng site natin, ito po yung unang-unang page na makikita nila. So paano po natin gagawin? Yan. So the first one is uh, basically you can go to customize your team like this one or uh, okay, let's open customize. And so home page settings po natin. Pwede kayong mag-set dito na a static page. So pwede po yan. You just click static page and then select home. And pa. The other way around is you can go to your dashboard. and go to your settings. So meron po tayong general uh, writing and reading settings. I believe this would would be on the reading settings. So uh, you can select a static page and then set home. Yan po. So two ways po yung pag ano natin. Kung paano natin masaset ang ating home page. So let's try muna sa first one. Uh, using this uh, customization ng ating theme. So home page settings and then static page. Then just click publish. So pag refresh po natin ito, ng wrap view ng ating page, ayan po. Applied na po yung changes. So meron ka na po home page. Yan na, ba? So ilang minutes lang po natin siya ginawa. Hindi na po kailangan maghirap masyado. Just uh, alter some, ano, put some alterations sa mga images, sa mga text po natin, you could add an, an image dito where you can click later on sa mga most popular courses natin. And then, you have your information about your CEO, why they should uh, enter the school, okay? And some testimonials are also here. Now, at this portion po, uh, we'll, we'll go muna sa settings natin, okay? We'll just check the settings first and go to general. So, basically, the general settings po is dito rin po may kita natin yung site title natin, the tagline, and also, nandito po yung URL natin once, once that we have our own uh, uh, posting and domain, may kita po natin yan, site address, and po. The administration email would be yours, sempre. And you can set also that if anyone to register an account on your website, pwede ka po mag-set niyan, ganyan. 
Uh, ang time zone natin, i-set po natin sa time zone natin here, uh, which is uh, UTC 8. Okay. The date format is already good for me. Okay. Which starts on, basically, everything na gusto mong i-set nandito sa general settings. Those of the heart writings. Okay. You can explore those ones. So, basically, dito lang naman tayo sa tatlo na yan. Eh. Mag, mag revoke Okay. Uh, okay. Now we are done with uh, with some uh, arrangements and settings. Natin. Let's go back to our paggawa ng ating website. So now we have a homepage. Gagawa pa tayo ng additional two pages, which is about us page and also the contact page, which is gagawin din natin through the use of. You're correct. We're we're gonna use Elementor. So pakita po natin kung paano natin gagawin yan. So basically, we'll just go back to our dashboard okay exit the dashboard i'll just close this home page okay for for the meantime okay para po makita niyo kung paano tayo mag-add ulit ng page so kung nasusundan po ninyo let's go to pages and add new page so this time we'll be adding two more new pages and that is uh your about us and your contact page so gagawa po tayo niyan add new page so this would be your about us once again since we're using elementor uh if full with natin yung page attribute niya and that's it about us so ano pong pwede niyo ilagay sa about us later on pwede niyo ilagay dito uh, the mission and the vision of the school Ah, uh, kung kung po nagsimula yung school ninyo, okay, sino po yung founder later on. Pero may maganda dito, may template rin po si ano po, si starter templates na pwede nating gamitin. Kanina, nakita niyo 'di ba? Uh, na pwede nating i-insert para sa about us page. So, let's try. Uh, publish po muna natin 'to. Okay. And you can see this would be the permalink Nang about us page, so just edit with Elementor, <clears throat> and now uh, we'll skip the long process, and we will just use starter templates and go back to the Learn Dash Academy, and I'll be using the template for about us. Yeah. So nakita niyo na masiguro magiging ichura nito later on. <laughs> excited na ba kayo? Ako excited, excited. We finish natin tong simple website. Natin. Just import the template. Now that's imported. Okay, we already have this one. So basically, it's 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 already takes na yun ba? So you could just you know edit or alter anything here. Like this one, sa about us. Uh, pwede natin gayahin yung yung color scheme ng gradient dito. Like, uh, pwede natin kopyahin ito para medyo pare-pare siya. Or else, you wish, pwede nyo tanggalin na lang tong portion na to ng section na to kung hindi nyo naman kailangan. Okay. And then, edit this one. Pwede kayo mag-change ng images ng inyong uh, founder and CEO. Okay. Add a story. Okay. Paano po ba nagsimula? You can just edit here. Okay. You can add your your mission vision here. Kung gusto ninyo. Okay. Oops. Pwede po tayo mag-control. Ando ah, by the way. So, meet our lead instructor. So, basically, if you want this portion to to have uh, featured yung mga lead instructors nyo, pwede, pwede po. Okay. Pero basically, pwede ka rin mag-add ng inyong mission and vision or anything na about your school, your history. Okay? For, for now, just for an example, you can, ano po, uh, you can edit everything here sa gilid. Okay? I already like the template na pinapakita nila dito. Sectors, okay? The number speaks. Pwede pong uh, palitan nyo dito na, kunwari, uh, how many students already enrolled. Okay, 
awards, okay, ilang ilang branches po meron kayo or partners na meron po kayo. And what did the students have to say? Since we already have testimonial on the part ng, ano, ng ating homepage, I'll just delete this one, okay? So instead of having a testimonial, I'll rather have uh, add uh, a Google Map. Okay, since it's talking about us, uh, I'll be adding a Google Map kung saan may kita yung location siguro ng ating school. So to add, just kindly click this section, okay? Then the grid, then magdadrag po tayo dito ng Google Map. Okay, so basically, ito po yung magiging itsura ng ating About Us page. So feel free po na habang sa on your end, you can edit anything. Okay, so for this one, siguro tatanggalin ko na lang tong portion na to para medyo malinis siya. So I'll not, I think I will not be using this header anymore, this section anymore. So tatanggalin ko lang po. So para directly na po, pupunta siya sa story ng school or story ng, ng founder, the the... Uh, featured na mga teachers na meron po kayo. By the way, you can set also here uh, kanyang Facebook, okay, ang link, later on kung saan siya, para makita nila yung uh, information about the teacher, okay, instructors. Anyway, uh, mag-a-add pa naman to, po tayo ng, ng, ng page for the faculty, okay, mag-customize tayo ng sabihin natin page para sa mga faculty, which is you can display po yung mga educational highlights ng ating mga teachers. Or you can you can show the list of the teachers that you have in your school. But for now, it's all about us, about your school. Again, you can set on your story the mission vision. Pwede nyo pong itype dito. Okay? Uh, paano na-founded yung school nyo? Gano'n na katagal? It's important, no? Kasi uh, isa po sa mahalagang parte yata ng mga schools is when when it was founded kasi mas mahaba pong years syempre mas legit tama po <laughs> mas legit yung mga schools natin diba? in in years of service mo uh, napakarami nang naturuan ng mga estudyante napakarami nang graduate okay you could put everything of that here sa ating about us page and for for now for just an example uh, i'll leave everything as it is, kasi wala naman po kung masyadong gusto baguhin except for the testimonials na inumit ko kanina and I put rather uh, Google Map. Okay, para meron po tayong Google Map. Ayan, so I'll just update that one. And that's it. Meron ka na pong about a speech. Bilis lang po, no? Now, once again, if you want to view that that page just click this hamburger button on the upper left side of your screen and view page and meron ka na po about us na page amazing po ba <laughs> and we'll, we'll be adding one more page and that is yung tinatawag natin na <clears throat> contact page Ito rin po yung kagandahan kasi meron na rin pong built-in na, ano, na, na template or meron ng free template para sa contact page. Hindi na po siya mahirap kumawa. So, I'll be adding a new page. Right click lang po ako. So, open on, an, on a new window and I'll be naming this one as contact us. So, nakikinita nyo na po ba yung itsura ng ating website? Meron ka ng home. Meron ka ng about us, and now may contact us ka na. So, again, Elementor Fluid, and just publish this one. Click publish. Then, I'll just click edit with Elementor. The same process po tayo, we'll go to starter templates. And then, Learn Dash Academy, medyo nandito na po kasi lahat na kailangan natin for that site. And then, import a template. Ayan, nakita nyo po ba yung magiging itsura ng contact page natin? Ayan. Import template. So basically, ito po yung itsura niya. No need help. Ayan. So you can change this one. 
sa colors na gusto niyo po, yung icons na gusto niyo po, you can change the text. Once again, your email. You can change the email like um, yeah. Or should I say, kumare pangalan nang A B A B C H S H S H S. Okay. So tapos kung saan po yung location? Wow, New York. No ba mo location ng school niyo? <laughs> so you can set that one. Uh, I'll just keep this this ano po, uh, this this section na lang para medyo meron siyang header. Ayun, medyo maikli lang po kasi. And kung mapapansin niyo po, uh, this one is using forms. WP forms. Uh, let's check. Okay, ayan. So, gumamit po siya ng short code na, na galing po sa WP Forms. Once, yun po yung isa na in-install natin uh, kanina. So, basically, uh, makikita nyo po yung WP Forms doon sa ating uh, dashboard. So, pakita ko lang po. Ah. Let's go sa dashboard natin. So, ayan, sa WP Forms, if you could see, gumamit siya ng short code. Ito po. Ito pong tinatawag niya na short code na to is, ito po siya. Si WP Forms, check natin si All Forms. Ito po yun si Contact Form. If you could see, the short code of this certain form is this one. WP Forms ID equals 46. So, yan po yung tinatawag dito ni Contact Form. Basically, you can edit uh, that form here. So, you can edit this one. Uh... You could, you could set yung mga field options niya, single line text, paragraph text, settings, okay, sa confirmations or sa notifications niya, uh, you can send to email address. Pwede nyo ilagay dito yung email address ng school ninyo para sa inyo po directly mapupunta yung uh, message na sinasend nila from here. Okay, so full name nila, email address, subject. Once na tinik nila tong send, Okay, click nila itong send button doon sa contact form na meron po tayo. Is dadirect po sa inyo yung uh, email or yung message. So, you just have to set the email address here. Balik po tayo ha. Uh, Isa-isain po natin. So, we want to see the forms. That's WP forms. Nandito po yan siya. Plug in po ito na install natin. And then, click all forms. And you can see the contact form na tinatawag natin. Ito po yan siya. Short code kumamit dito. And, yun po, basically, you can edit everything in the contact form. Like, you can set the, 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 the fields. You can add fields, field options. Okay. First name, last, first, last name. Pwede nyo pong, pwede, pwede nyo pong iset yun sa contact form. Pero for me, uh, this one is good already. So, hindi naman natin kailangan mag-ask ng napakaraming, ano po, uh, kung i-contact tayo ng ating client, hindi natin kailangan mag-ask sa kanila ng napakaraming details unless otherwise magkakaroon na po tayo ng transactions. And also remember po sa data privacy po natin na na, na sa pag-iingat natin sa data privacy po natin, hindi po tayo kailangan magbigay ng napakaraming details sa ano sa online. Okay? So we'll just have to limit yung mga details na kailangan natin ibigay. So, okay na po to for me, the contact form, just name, email address, yung subject na kailangan niya, pag-usapan, then the message content. So, basically, this is it. And, uh, ito po yung maganda sa certain po na na template na to, gumawa rin po sila ng accordion kung saan you can answer specific uh, or FAQs na meron po ang inyong mga students or mga parents. So basically, you can put everything here sa FAQ. Paano, paano po mag enroll paano po ang, ang curriculum, ano po ang modules, ngayon pwede kayong mag, mag set po dito. You can answer doon. Just click the accordion items and just edit everything here. You can add media also here, by the way. So if you want to put pictures sa mga answers na dito sa accordion pass, possible po siya. So basically, this is the contact form. Pwede nyo pong i-alter on your side kung ano pong gusto nyo baguhin. But for me, uh, I think okay na po ito. Sold na ako dito for now. <laughs>
Okay. I'll just retain this one. Unlike kanina sa about us, tinanggal ko po siya para measure there siya. Pero this time, I'll just leave this one. Pwede niyo pong palitan to ng image kung gusto ninyo. But for me, it's, it's already okay. So you can change your number, your email, your location. Although meron na tayong nilagay sa about us na, na, na Google Map. But then, it's, it's, it's okay na medyo redundant tayo pagdating sa mga details natin. Kung saan, 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 na, saan nila tayo mag-contact, saan nila tayo magpupuntahan. And afterwards, uh, this is the form that we need para mag-message nila tayo. At the same time, we have the frequently asked questions. So I'll just update this one. And boom. Meron na tayong dalawang page. We have about us and the contact us page. So let's check. Hamburger button, view page. So, ito po magiging itsura ng ating contact page. Cool, right? May tatlong page ka na po. <laughs> Pwede na to. <laughs> ne, joke lang. Uh, we will be adding more pages uh, later on for the for the course and also for the faculty. Okay, and mama ipapakita namin how can you show the posts na, mag, na ginagawa po natin. But for now, uh, let's go back sa ating homepage. So, ito po yung homepage natin. Basically, wala kang way para makita mo yung about page mo saka yung contact page mo. So, paano yun? Paano yun? Paano natin gagawin yun? For now, uh, we will be adding uh, or we will be creating a menu. Ayan, para makita nyo or magkaroon ka ng way na ma-show yung about page mo saka yung uh, contact page mo. So, paano po tayo mag-add ng menu? Okay, let's go back sa ating dashboard. So, dito po, sa dashboard po natin. And then, if you can remember, sa appearance po natin, we could set or create menus. So, just go to appearance, and then click menu. Ayan po. <clears throat> uh, as of now, wala pa pong created na menu. Kaya po, pag pumunta po tayo ng homepage natin, tingnan nyo, wala, walang, walang menu dito. Hindi ka makapunta sa other pages. Okay. Otherwise, meron ka po dito, may, may mga links ka po dito. Pero para naman po ito sa ating ano, mga social media uh, accounts. So, ang gagawin natin, mag-create po tayo ng menu. Okay? Ang papangalanan po natin siyang main menu. Just create menu. Ayan. Then, you could set uh, kung saan mo siya banda ilalagay. Display location. We have the top bar. Explain ko na po kanina dito po yung top bar. Uh, we have the main which is later on, dito siya malalagay yung main natin na menu. We have the footer menu or mobile, which is optional. But for now, we'll be using main menu. Okay? Now, to add an item or uh, para magkaroon tayo ng mga i-click doon sa ating menu, we will be adding pages for that one para ma-visit mo yung about page mo sa kayong contact page mo. Uh, aside from adding pages, pwede ka rin maglagay ng item na like posts or custom links. Basically, yung custom links is uh, if you have uh, other pages or other address na gusto mong i-redirect doon yung user mo once na i-click yung menu na yan. But for our, ano po, but for our example, we will be using pages po. So, just look on this left side ng inyong screen sa menu. Then view all. Then we will be adding uh, home, about us, and contact us. Then click add to menu. Now, nakita niyo po? So we have our, our three pages added to our menu. Sila, sila na po yung item ng ating menu. We have home, we have about us, and we have contact us. Now, you can also have the option po na i-demote ang isang ano, item. So, it could be a sub-menu like this one. Okay? But then, uh, hindi po natin gagawing sub-menu si About Us. So, main menu po siya. For now, isa-save po natin ito. Pwede ka rin mag-rearrange siya, by the way. Hindi po kayo limited. You can rearrange. I'll just, ano, ito lang po yung gusto kong setup. Home, About Us, then Contact Us. I'll just save this one. And let's check kung ano pong naging effect niya sa ating website. So, this is our website. We'll just 
we load this page and boom meron ka na pong home about us and contact us na new okay home about us and contact us let's try kung gumagana po siya oh yes gumagana po okay We have our contact us. Nice one. O di po po, ang galing. In just a few minutes, you were able to create a three-page po na website. Meron na po siyang home, may about us, may contact us na po siya. Without having, <laughs> hindi man lang nagpapawis, okay? So, that's it. We already have three pages for our website. So now uh, we have finished adding two more new, uh, two more pages. Uh, meron tayong about us and contact us. At this time, uh, since I'm I'm developing kunwari, okay, for for just an example, uh, senior high school na ano na na website. So basically, we have this. Uh, we will be having this page for the courses. So, gagawa po ko ng page kung saan pwede tayo mag-create later on ng sub-menu. Okay? Uh, gagawa tayo ng, ng parent page first, which is the courses. Then afterwards, meron po siya mga sub-page or, or mga uh, child pages siya. Which is, uh, i-divide natin sa dalawang ano, track. Okay? Siguro nakaka-relate nakaka, ano dito, nakaka dito sa atin yung mga senior high school uh, teachers na nariyan. So let's let's start. Basically, you already know how to create a page. Let's go back to our uh, dashboard and mag-add po tayo ng panibagong pages. So add new. I'll be naming this one course. Courses, okay. But if your school is a grade school and you do not offer uh, senior high high school ng mga mga track, uh, it's okay. Uh, just replace this one with uh, school life, okay? Uh, you could you could create a page na nag-ana nag, po, nag-describe po ano po yung, yung school life na meron po kayo, what are the activities na ginagawa nyo doon. So, pwede kayong mag-insert ng another template, okay? And uh, develop a site about school life. Pwede po yan. Pero for now, I'll be creating a page for the courses. In case lang po that you are senior high school na, na school. Okay, publish po natin to. Don't forget na be forward kasi gagamitan natin siya ng Elementor. Let's check this one. Publish. And then edit with Elementor. Basically, we'll be, ano po, uh, I'll be adding from Learn Dash once again. Siguro medyo gamay na gamay yun na to kasi pang apat na beses na po natin tong ini-insert. But this time, I'll be using the co all courses na template. Ayan. Medyo maganda siya. Okay. But then, hindi natin mahu-fully utilize. I think so. Kasi may mga portions siya na hindi yata nagpo-function well as of now. So, ayan. Especially this short code. Uh, we'll just skip that one. I'll just... Uh, I'll just delete also this section. Hindi ko po siya kakailangan yun later on. And also, I'll delete this section kung saan po meron mga testimonials. If you could remember, may testimonials na po tayo doon sa About Us. So, medyo redundant na rin kung maglalagay po tayo ng testimonial dito. Tatanggalin ko na po ito. But if you want nga, ano siya, irritating, you could, you could, you could, you could, ano, do so. Kumari, kung gusto nyo yung testimonials about sa courses na, ano, yeah, ganyan, or mga courses na kinuha ng mga student, it's okay. But for me, for this example, I'll just delete this one. Okay, and I'll delete this section. And kunwari po, okay, for for just uh, an example, uh, we will be having two two tracks in your high school. Kasi pagkakalam ko, hindi lang po isang track na meron sa isang school. Pero correct me if I'm wrong, but for just an example, kunwari lang po meron kayong dalawang track sa inyong school. Uh, okay, delete po muna natin this one. Uh, I'll be inserting, okay, click edit section. I'll be inserting an inner section. So we could have 
uh, columns for the two tracks. Okay. Ano po yung two tracks na minimension ko? That it's for the academic track and the other one is for the other high school track. Uh, high, high school tracks na meron po tayo. So let's try to add in this column uh, an image for our academic track. So basically what we have done on on the first pages that we have done, uh, na, na create natin, yun na po, babagoy na natin yung image. And for now, uh, mag upload po ako ng other files. Okay, meron po kong pre-prepare na rin kasi for this one. For our example, so I'll be using this one for academic. Nasa, ano po si academic? Uh, we have si academic hub. Okay. Oh, hindi ko yata siya na-copy. It's okay. <laughs> Wala siya dito. Pero it's okay. I will just use uh, another image na lang for this one. So, basically, if uh, if academic, what if we'll be using this one? Okay. This one na lang. Para medyo maganda. Or, ha? Huh? So, academic. academic track and insert media then you should change the caption so we will have this one academic track just change the text okay uh, at this time uh, hindi po ako maglalagay ng, ng kanyang url instead i'll be adding a button okay Kala medyo ganda-ganda naman siya. So by default, ito po yung itsura ng ating button. I'll be having info instead and place it on the center. Change muna natin yung colors. At siguro alam nyo na kung anong color ang pipiliin ko. Block! Ayan. And also the typography would be Helvetica. Ayan, Helvetica. style siguro in normal lang po natin hindi ko na siya i i i italic ayan so then we will have click here instead na click here uh, learn more oh di ba and also we could put an icon of our and so lagay natin after Okay ba? Mukha na bang maganda? Again, uh, advanced motion effects. Siguro fade in lang para yun. Basically, that's it. I'll just copy this one. If you have another track, um, mas maganda po, i-copy na lang po natin to. Just delete this empty one. And I'll just rename this to other high school track. learn more and then and just change this one uh, just change other high school track siguro yung il ilalagay natin for is this one or rather ICT okay I think ICT is an uh, under track So basically, industrial custom picture ko, uh, I'll just change this one pala. Okay, apologies po mga mom and sir. I'll be changing this one for an academic strand. So we, what we have siguro in academic strand is gas and humes. And the other one is STEM, kung di po ako nagkakamali, and ABM. So siguro for our ano po, uh, promotional na picture, we'll just use STEM. Ayan. And then, insert media. Much better po ba? Okay na po? 
So we have the courses. Ayan. I'll just update this page. And meron na po tayong page para po pumili ka ng courses. So meron, magkakaroon po tayo ng dalawang menu for this <coughs> uh, specific na, na page. So balik po tayo sa menu. <coughs> uh, refresh lang po natin to. And if, if you can see, na-add na po yung course dito. So I'll just add this to menu. Ayan, so may courses na tayo. Siguro, uh, place it before contact us. Now, gagawa po akong dalawa pa pong page. Okay? Uh, this is for the page natin for the academic track and other high school track. So, medyo, i, ang, ang, ang ano po natin, i-fast forward na lang po natin ng video. And may kita nyo na mag-create akong page. Okay? Let's go to page. Let's see it. Don't forget to save, ah. Uh, create page, add new. <clears throat> and we will have academic. Who it? I said, remember, we're going to add them. I'll be another, add, uh, add another page, and this would be... other high school track. Okay, I think we're good. Now, uh, we'll just refresh this part sa menu. If you can see, meron na tayong other high school track and academic track. So basically, i-add natin yun sila dito. Just to let you ano, see kung paano po ang mangyayari. Uh, add to menu. And then we'll place it under courses, academic track, and other high school track. So basically, wala pa pong laman yung other high school track natin sa academic track. But, but just to let you see kung ano pa mangyayari kapag meron ka pong sub-item dito. Okay, we'll save this one. And then, <clears throat> i -re refresh po natin siya. So, courses. Yan po. Refresh po natin tong site natin. And you already have the courses. And may sub ko na na academic and other high school track. So, basically, kapag clinic nyo po yan, i -re redirect ka niya sa academic track or sa other high school track which is i-design natin or i-build natin later on. Ayan. So, the same with this page po, sa courses po, instead of uh, just static page lang po siya, we'll have this button redirect, uh, i-redirect yung ating page to this specific page. Page. So, punta po tayo dito sa academic track. We'll just get this address. Kita niyo po yung kanyang permalink. And then, we will just copy this one. Here's a link. Okay, academic track. That's good already. And also, this one, other high school track. So, copy natin siya dito sa other button naman. Para po, ano mangyayari dyan? Once na we visit that certain page ng course, okay, clickable pa naman to. So, in, uh, when you click this button, i-direct ka niya sa academic track na page or sa other high school track na page. Ayan po. So, we are now working with submenus. Hopefully, nasusundan po ninyo, ha? Now, uh, huh? Link. Now, uh, in this particular section po, uh, siguro po isiset ko tong courses na nasa taas na hindi po siya magiging clickable. What I'm gonna do is, uh, gagawa po ko ng custom link. Okay. Custom link po siya. 
and ang link textbook wala po tayong ilalagay na URL para hindi po siya clickable so I'll just have this one add to menu okay okay I forgot to set the name just have these courses okay and in this one, instead na ito po yung gagamitin natin, uh, tatanggalin po natin siya here. I-remove lang po natin siya. And we'll be using a custom link instead. Para once na i-click po yung menu dito, hindi po siya pupunta directly doon sa ating page na courses. Kasi gagamitin ko po yung page na courses for this button naman sa home page po natin. So instead dito, hindi po siya clickable. Well, let's try. Let's save the menu. Okay. And refresh this one. So, so if you could see, hindi na po nakiklik yung courses. Ayan. Pero makiklik nyo po yung mga sub-menu na meron siya. So basically, we can, we can just remove na lang yung ito. Save menu. So basically, hindi mo na makiklik talaga yung courses. Okay. But you can click yung mga sub-menu na meron siya. Okay? okay? So, you are working already with sub-menus and main menus. Ayan po. So, nasusundan po? Hopefully, nasusundan. So, sa academic track po, uh, let us say sa page na to, okay, edited elementary, And insert okay. Basically, and I would not be needing this one and this one and this one also. Let's say sa academic track po, meron ka pong apat na courses na ino offer. So we'll, we'll be designing this one. Gawa tayo ng intersection. So, enter po tayo dito ng image. And then, sa image na yan, palitan po natin. Okay, i-upload ko lang po lahat ng files na meron po ako. We have ABM, Arts. Guys, meron na Home Economics, Humes. Aha, Sports, then, miss them na. For example, uh, in, in academic track po, meron po tayong gas, general academic strand, we have humes, we have STEM, and we have ABM. Basically, those those are the strands that being offered as of now. Uh, ilalagay po natin yun doon sa ating academic track na page. Huwag pong kalimutan maglagay ng alternative text or alt text. So we have stem. Pangalanan lang po natin to Stem. Ano nga po meaning ng stem? Science, technology, and engineering, and mathematics. If I'm not mistaken. Tama po ba? Pag mali po ko, i-correct nyo na lang po. <laughs> Science. Technology. Engineering and mathematics so link oh. bakit po custom link? kasi para pag clinic natin to later on i-direct ka naman yan sa page na nagbibigay ng description about uh, STEM tama po? so I'll just change the caption typography would be Helvetica And the uh, style would be normal. Apo, hindi po tayo ab abnormal. We're normal, okay? <laughs> we just have that one. So, para medyo may emphasis po tayo, we'll, we'll have that one. Okay? And para hindi mahirap, copy-paste lang po tayo dito. Just, just 
delete this one change the image basically we have we have arts uh, we have abm again kung medyo hindi po ganun ka ano yung ano you could you could extend this one by setting custom let's try 768 and 512 ayan po or 13 para medyo pantay po talaga yung height niya this one is abm po palitan lang po natin so and, and I'll be adding another one po na section para medyo hindi po overlapping. So I'll be adding another section. Copy lang po natin to. Pero kung mas nadadalian kayo sa pag, pag drag and drop, okay lang din naman po. I'll just change, change the image. This one would be Humes. Okay. Ito po yung humes natin. Okay. Hindi ko na po itatype lahat ha. Just put humes. And this one, copy lang po natin ito. And then paste. Ito po yung maganda kasi pwede tayo mag-copy and paste. We have stem, we have ABM humes. Oh, nakalimutan natin yung ating gas. Ayan. Ang picture natin sa gas is this one. Um, uh, custom size would be 768 kanina 513 ang gamit natin, tama? and apply okay, or hindi ito siguro yung kailangan natin i-adjust kasi medyo siya malaki 768, then 513 and then apply change this one to gas hopefully nasusundan po ninyo so, we already have this academic track na page. Kung lalagay lang po siguro ako ng uh, divider. Oops. Section and uh, divider. in between tag pa natin dito sa galing ayan, divider okay, sino yung divider po ako nang nilagay parang ano po, uh, you could see this one parang sa design niya medyo may portion na nagahati okay, kasi may lalagay po ako dito sa ilalim, maglalagay po ako ng image carousel uh, ang bala ko po dito is will be using the image carousel Para naman i-feature yung other high school track. So, papakita ko po sa inyo kung anong, ano, ko pong, ano pong ibig kong sabihin. So, image carousel. <clears throat> so, we'll select po uh, the images na gusto natin include We have sports, industrial, <clears throat> sports, industrial arts. Home economics, we have we have arts, <clears throat> we have agri fisheries. Oh, we have agri fisheries. Po. I think those are the TVM. Po. Uh, I'm sorry, instead, we have TVM. Uh, X kulang po mulita. We have TVM. Uh, we have arts and sports. So, ito po yung nasa track ng other high school track. Basically, ICT, uh, agri-fishery siguro, and home economics and industrial arts is under po siya ng TVM. So, create a new gallery. Ayan po. So, pangalan na lang po natin yun. TVM, we have arts, and we have sports. Insert gallery. Ayan po. So, may gallery ka na po na ating uh, other high school track. So, mag add lang po siguro ako ng ating heading. So, para na mapangalanan natin siya. 
and then to be other high school track. Taking it to center, and you know this already, pa. <laughs> Iko color na siya black, and the typography would be Helvetica. Ah, French yun na mga designer Helvetica. So napansin niyo po gumagalaw po yung image carousel natin. And so medyo mayroon na po siyang sariling animation. So ito po yung magiging itsura ng ating academic track na page. Yung dito po yan. We'll just add some motion effects. Which is fade in. Ba favorite natin si fade in ah. Pero you can use other effects guys. Or I mean mga moms or sirs. Close na tayo kaya mga guys na lang sir. <laughs> So, fade in, and now that would be ang itsura ng ating academic track. So, let's try. Anong itsura niya? C, hindi na si clickable si courses, but we have academic track here. Nice one, smooth. Ayan po. And meron ka ng other high school track sa baba. Now, this one, uh, ang ano po natin, ang mga, mga certain po natin ng mga images nito would lead us or link us or redirect us to another page din po. And yun naman po yung gagawin natin this time. Gagawa naman tayo, kunwari ng page for STEM. Okay? So, basically, go to your uh, dashboard, add another page. Oh, no. Na click po is post. It's supposed to be page. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so let's have this stem. Okay. And then the number four width. Now we will set the parent of this one to be the academic track. And po, publish po natin. All right. So, bakit ko po siya sinet, sinet na parent page? Para po mamaya, pag-check pag natin sa page, if you could see this one, okay? Academic track, okay? So, hindi na po, hindi ko po sinama yung courses, pero, pero this time, since under siya ng academic track, uh, later on, may kita natin sa permalink niya na under siya na uh, academic track itong stem na to. So, we'll just edit this one with Elementor. Then just add the pages and chords. Just delete this one because of the name. Okay. Oh, also this one. Now, ang gagawin po natin dito is mag-add tayo ng panibagong section. Okay. Lahat tayo ng panibagong section. Basically, just click edit section, then uh, insert po tayo ng inner section. This, this certain portion po na ano, isiset ko po siya na magkaroon ng image ng ating stem. And this portion naman po ng column natin, maglalagay po tayo ng heading. Ayan. Maglalagay din po tayo dito ng I think pagandang lagyan natin ng counter. You know counter po? Uh, where's the counter? General counter. Counter po. To let them know kung gano'n na po karami yung nag-enroll nito. Okay. And we will add a text. Oh no, heading. A text editor. And this one. So basically, uh, we'll change the style, change the image to stem, okay, lagay natin dito yung full name, which is uh, stem, uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This dito po kompleto siya. Uh, you know already what I'm gonna do. Change the color to black. 
Ayan po. And the typography to Helvetica. Pero depende po sa inyo ako anong gusto nyo gamitin. Uh, kayo naman po yung magde-design ng inyong ano. But I rather use this one. Sa text editor po natin, I'll just change the colors na ating text to uh, black. Once again, the cool number po or counter po natin said students have enrolled enrolled as of June 2020. Ayan. So, para meron po tayong counter. ba? Kasi pag may counter po tayo, kunwari sa STEM, ilang, ilang studyante na po ba nag-enroll? Okay? Sabi natin, uh, 400 students already enrolled. O, diba? Malamang sa malamang po, mas, ano po, uh, mas marami po ang mag-enroll sa, sa STEM na yan. Okay? I just have this content. Much better for the English. mag a din po ako ng additional na text dito sa baba. In case lang po, ah, this is my way po ng pag-design. So, I, I could add another text here. Uh, you could have here uh, uh, subjects under this strand. Subjects, understand? So, you, you could just state everything here. Mga subjects na meron po sa stalan na ito. Basically. Hindi pa. Just change the colors to black. Subject under this trend. And then, lastly po, uh, since since meron po tayo kanina na break po tayo dito sa academic track, we have four different kinds of strand in one acade in academic track. Uh, gusto ko rin po ma-emphasize yung tatlong ano na yun, tatlong uh, tatlong strand. So, gagawa rin po ako dito ng images. So, basically, mag a ko ng another section. Images. Okay. Where I can put the other strand. Okay, we have stem, we have humes, nasa na po yung humes, ito po si humes. Okay, copy ng oh, pangalanan po muna natin, caption, we have humes. Link. Basically, gusto ko yung link na to mag-direct na kagad dun sa page na yun. So, lalagyan natin siya ng link. Paste. This space, another one. Delete this one. We have image here. Nang where's ABM? ABM. We also have guess. So just change this one to ABM. This one to guess. Of course, from zero six eight. And 512, 13 in. Uh -huh. Medyo maliit pa po si, ano, si ABM. Set lang po natin ito with the 768, 513. Alright. So, magkakasize na po sila. And nakalimutan natin maglagay ng heading. So, gawin na rin ang konting heading dito. Ayan. Parang naman medyo maganda siya tingnan yung other academic, academic, I'm a, I'm a right, strand, oh, strand, kasi nasa, nasa track, oh, tama, pwede na siya. We'll change this one, position niya would be there, academic strand. And this, this is the time na maglalagay na po ako ng divider sa dulo. Boom, divider, plastic na. Sa dulong dulo po. Iyon, ito po sa baba. Iyon, so may divider na po ako. And alam nyo na po siguro kung anong ilalagay ka dito. It would be the other high school strength. 
Pero yung gagawin ko po dito is yung kagandahan po kasi ng ano ng Elementor. Uh, you could you could save a certain part ng Elementor to be a template. So like this one. You can save this section as a template or this one Oh, section lang pala. So, you can save this section as a template para kung later on, magamit mo po siya. I-attach-attach mo na lang po siya. Save natin sa letter name. Yun. So, let's try na i-ano siya sa ating academic course class. Oh, dito pala. Sorry. So, just enter this one. Templates. And insert this one. Yes. Let's see how you put it. Yep. And so we like it. So we'll just delete this one. Update. But I need more. Check lang natin. Parang hindi na nag full width ha. Oh, hindi nga siya nag -full. We will just check the page na lang. Ni stem. All pages. We'll just close this one first. Page ni stem. Quick edit. Ah. Edit. Naka-default siya. So, full width natin siya. Update. Then, refresh this one. Alright, so meron na po tayong page for STEM na meron counter, okay, students in a row, pinifeature niya rin yung other academic strand na when you click on these images, idadirect ka sa other pages, and meron ka rin high school strand, high school strand, na kapag clinic niyo po itong image carousel na to, dadaling ka naman sa page na other high school strand, high, high school strand. So, we're done with this one. I'll be adding other pages and afterwards, tapos na po ating course na mga pages. So, actually, paulit-ulit lang po ang gagawin ko eh. So, the same, the, the same setup po for, for this three academic strand and the same setup lang din po ang gagawin ko for the other high school strand. Let's check kung anong itsura nito. So, ayan po siya. Malinis lang po siya tingnan. And also, if you could see the breadcrumbs dito. Oh, by the way, breadcrumbs is ano, uh, indicator siya kung nasa certain page, page ka na naroon. So, basically, you are under academic track and yung page na kung nasaan ka is yung STEM na page. Ayan. So, academic track. Let's see, Let's see kung gumagana to. So basically, hindi pa natin na, na ilagay dito yung link for, for the stem. So ang gagawin po natin is go back to stem and view that page. Kakapi natin tong link na to. Let's go to academic strand na, na page. I-edit po natin yun. Click this page, go to your link, paste nyo po dito yung link ng ating stem na page, then update. Try natin kung mag effect siya. So, ayan po. Directly. When you click that page, balik po tayo. When you click that page, or that image, nakikita nyo na po yung stem na page which will be explaining what is the strand all about, ilan na po yung enroll or the subjects under that strand. And you have also these images which will direct them to the other pages of that uh, certain academic strand and also this other high school track, nadadaling ka sa track kung saan nandun yung page ng mga other high school track. Ayan. So, kung time skip po tayo, gagawin ko po lahat ng mga pages and that's it. I-add po natin siya afterwards. So, alright. This is our uh, created website, no? 
So, Sir Elvin already have the menus for home, about us, courses, and contact us. So, what we're doing this time is magkikreate tayo ng page for the faculties. So, we'll go back to the, our dashboard, then select the add page. Then, we have to type the faculty. So, as Sir Elvin said, we have to choose the Elementor full width, then click publish, and edit with Elementor. So, ito na siya. Since uh, starter templates is already installed, installed, so this is our options, but uh, we already have the template for our page. So we have to search for our template. And this time, we have to choose this one. So we have to import template. Then, ito na siya. So, i-delete na lang natin yung mga unnecessary sections. So, ito lang i-delete natin. Delete this one. And this one. So, time to show me lang yung pag-delete. Yung delete natin. this one also. And ito. So, we have our blank page for our faculty. So, this time, ilalagay natin dito yung mga uh, images ng ating mga faculties. So, we have to click this six read and we have to drag the heading. For example, lagay natin dito yung mga image ng ating mga master teachers. Example, master teachers. It's okay. Then we have to put the inner inner section. Then, um, you have to put the image of a certain shirt. For example, choose image. We have this one. We select this one. Then, we have to cost, click the custom caption. Then, enter the name of the certain faculty. For example, we put this one. I've been about this stuff. So, ito customize natin siya. We have to... So, don't forget to custom URL. So, ayan. So, lagyan natin siya ng style. So, we have to click the style. Then, click the hover. So, depende sa inyo kung anong gusto niyo hover. Either grow and go straight or tala, flow. So, for the list of the master teachers, so, same lang naman siya. Mag copy paste na lang tayo para same lang yung customization. So, paste. Then, choose image. For example, paste. So, tatlo lang yung example natin. So, delete natin ito. And, to change natin itong image. So, hindi siya same size. So, pwede natin siya change. So, ayan. Pwede naman din siya i-change. 
So this one, let's change natin to this one. So, ayan. So don't forget to change the custom caption or the name of the faculty. So for example, we put this, the name of the faculty is And ito naman si Then yung isipan ko na um, So yan yung list ng ating mga master teachers too So kung gusto niyo pang mag-add ng ating mga list of teachers Pwede siya So same steps lang So we have to add the uh, delete natin to. So, delete. Sorry, delete. Hindi siya ma-delete. So, we're gonna put... Siguro pwede natin siya makapi. Copy na lang siya siguro. Copy, then paste natin siya. Okay. So, i-delete natin to. I-change natin yung caption into for example, faculty, faculty na lang. So, same steps then for choosing an image. So, example, uh ito. Si Ma'am change natin ito para sa malaki then change natin yung name and change din natin to like a chart So, pwede tayong mag-upload ng files if wala na mga na-upload na pictures. We have here downloads. So, ito. So, we have another uploaded picture. Then, insert media. So, malaki siya na. It's the same natin yung yung size ng ating first image. So, large siya. So, medyo malaki. Um, mag, magsa-select tayo ng mga pictures na same yung sizes, no? Para mas, mas maganda tingnan. So, for example, yung medium natin or Try natin i-medium si ma'am. Okay, malaki. Yan. I-medium natin si sir. Okay. So, that's it. Kaya na siya. Okay, wait. Yung name pala. Don't forget to change the name ha. Baka makalimutan niyo. So, i-change natin yung name ni ma'am. In the... Sino pa ba? Mm, wait. Um, yung mga office meets. Ha <laughs> Then, sister. Mm. Okay, since we just so, so, so this is our menu or our page for our faculties. So since ano tayo minimalist. Sabi ni Sir, so, to change natin yung fonts, font style natin, yung font natin into block. So, yeah. So, basically, ito yung page natin for our faculty. So, this is it. So, don't forget to update. 
and for you to check whether okay siya, so click this hamburger button, then right click and open link meetup. So we already have our page for our faculty. Yan. Since we already have our page for our faculty, talagyan natin sila isa-isa ng individual page. So balik tayo sa ating dashboard. Then we have to click the add new. And since meron na tayong list of faculties, so ilalagay natin dito ang name ng atin certain faculties. For example, yung una natin faculty is Sir. So don't forget elementary full width, then the faculty na parent page. Then, click the Publish and Edit with Elementor. So, again, the uh, same step lang. And click the Starter Templates. And the default, temp the default theme, which is the Learn Dash Academy. Click the About Us. And, of course, Important Play. So, we already have our page for Sir Edwin. Then, i-delete na naman natin yung mga unnecessary sections. For this time, ilalagay natin yung picture ni Sir Elvin. Okay, delete. Delete this one. And of course, the photo delete. We delete natin yung mga hindi kailangan. So, we delete natin to. And lastly, photo delete as well. So, we already have our page for Sir Alvin. This time, we have two drug. Here, the inner section. And we have to put Sir Elvin's picture, which is, uh, ito siya. So, image, drag image. And we have to choose image. So, insert media. Custom caption, and theme of Sir Elvin. So, for the style, again, we have a default or we choose okay na ko dyan and hover na lang. Hover, float siya. So, float dito, float. So, that's why I choose float na lang. Then, we have to put the heading for Sir Edwin. So, kung ano siya the designation niya. So, master teacher, master teacher group. For the captions, again, we have, you have to click this nine read and put the text editor. So, i-drag natin to dito malapit sa name ni master teacher to to put the caption. So, so, yun yung default. So, i-copy-paste na lang natin siya. Yan, pwede mo copy-paste. So, whichever you like. Or depende sa inyo kung ano ilalagay niyo under Sir, Al Sir Alvin's name. So, we have to put al also the educational highlights of this certain faculty. So, for example, hindi naman ito kailangan. So, i-delete natin. 
you have to put the heading. So, educational item. Highlights. So, to change natin into block the text color. So, kung gusto nyo ilagay yung educational highlights, so, we'll click this one. Balik tayo dito. And the text editor. So, ayan. So, depende sa inyo kung anong ilalagay nyo, educational highlight, is written pa or T. So, pwede na siyang copy, copy paste. So, since gusto ninyong block, I change natin ng block. Yung text color. So, ayan na. And again, don't forget to update. And for you to view the page, just click it here. View page and open new meetup. So, we already have the page for Sir Alvin. Again, para ma-redirect tayo to certain page ni Sir Alvin, so we have to copy the uh, URL under Sir Alvin's name. Okay, copy. So, copy natin dito yung link. Then, update. So, pag i-click natin dito, i-redirect tayo sa page ni Sir Elvin. So, to be able to check a certain page na mag-redirect siya, so we have to click this one. We open link to tab. So, I have to click this. So, meron na siyang uh, another page for Sir Elvin Bautista. So, we have to add another one for this certain faculty. So, we have to go back to our dashboard. Then, we have to click this pages. Then, add new. Again, so, gagawa tayo ng page for a certain faculty. So, nilagay natin yung name niya dito. So, for example, the name niya is Alvin Alasabe. So, we have to check the elementary full width. Then the faculty, the check natin yung faculty. Don't forget to publish. And again, edit with Elementor. So pick the starter templates and look for the theme. So pick this one. Same template. Then import template. And Importing siya. So, important. So, we have, again, to delete the unnecessary sections. Same procedure lang naman siya. So, delete. Delete this one. So, marami kailangan yung delete. So, we have delete this one also and this one then delete natin C yung picture na and so ayan na siya then we have to again uh, drag the inner section so, okay, meron tayong inner section. Then, click the 6 degree and we have to put a image. So, drag this image icon. Then, choose image. So, ano yung chula ni Sir Alvin? Alvin, I mean. So, ito siya. So, click this one and insert media. And custom caption. So we have to put the name of the certain faculty. 
Then click the custom URL and click the 60. Again, we have to put a heading. So we have to put kung ano ang designation ni certain faculty. Master, ano nga yun? Master, master teacher. Master teacher. So to change the font color, we have to click the style and select the text color. So meron na tayong page 4. So, i-edit na lang natin yung paper niya. So, for the style, change natin yung hover para mag-appear siya kung i-click natin siya. Ayan. Or, depende sa inyo kung maglalagay kayo ng hover. Depende if glow, mag-glow siya o kung i-click yung picture, or mag-shrimp. So, sa akin, man na lang. Default na lang siya. And, lalagyan natin ng oh. caption C, Sir Elvin. So, we have to drag this text editor, malapit sa name niya, and put the description of the certain faculty or description ni Master Teacher to Mr. Elvin. So, default, copy-paste ko na lang. And, yan. and again, we have to put the educational highlights in certain faculty. So we have to drag this heading. And add text, educational highlights. Highlights. So, okay. And again, lalagay tayo ng text editor. So, i-drag na lang natin si text editor malapit kay educational highlights. So, kunwari, ito yung educational highlights ni faculty. So, i-paste na lang natin. So, i-delete na lang natin to kasi hindi naman kailangan. So, okay. Meron na siyang page. And again, don't forget to update para hindi mawala yung ating page update. So, meron na tayong page for Sir Alvin. So, yan na siya. So, for checking, to check natin to, click this hamburger button, then view page, just click the open link to the So, meron na siyang page. Meron na siyang Then, uh, para malink natin siya, so, copy the URL. Then, balik tayo dun sa page name. So, just click the picture. Then, uh, i-paste natin yung link dito. Para mag, para if i-click natin yung picture, mag-redirect tayo sa page ni faculty. So, update. And that's it. So, i-close muna natin to. Close. And close. Close natin yung mga tabs. So, we already have the menus for home about us courses and contact us. So we already have the page for our faculty. So let's put the menus for faculty here. So let's go back to our dashboard. Then we have to see appearance, then click the menus and click view all. So we have to check the faculty, add menu. So meron na tayong faculty menu here. So we'll put it before contact us. Then don't forget to save menu. So for checking, let's check ating homepage. So refresh natin yung page. 
So we have already the menus for faculty. So basically, ito na yung hitsura ng ating homepage. And of course, maglalagay din tayo ng menus for the events. So go back to our um, dashboard. Then let's add new page, add new. And we're gonna make the page for events. So let's click the Elementor full width. So default chat. And don't forget to publish. Publish. So let's view the page. So right click, open new data. So we already have the page for the events. So we have to add a post for our events. So let's go back to our dashboard. So click post, then add new. So what uh, basically events are the, uh, what we're doing in school like school fair, intramurals, and others, or regional meet. So for example, we put it here, uh, intramurals. So we have to click a new category. The parent category, we have to check the events 2020. So we put here, that's 2020. So if you want to put an image, then click this one, set picture and image. And for example, ito yung ilalagay natin. Then set picture image. Then again, don't forget. So, uh, forget to publish and publish. To check the page, again, let's click this one or refresh na lang yung ating page. So, new page. We have to edit with Elementor. So, ayan na siya. We already have our page for our event. So, we have here the picture and the uh, intern URAS. So, again, mag-add tayo again. So, balik tayo sa dashboard. So, new page, add new. Click natin ang yung post, then add new. Then, um, for example, talagay natin ang regional meet. So, add new category. Events 2020. Then, regional meet. So don't forget to add, to set the featured image. So we have it here, for example, ito na, ito na lang. So set featured image, then publish, publish. So to view the post, let's visit our website and refresh. So we already have the page for our events. So para ilagay natin dito sa ating menus ang events. So again, let's go back to our dashboard. Then appearance. Then menus. So click view all. Then, hanapin natin si events. Click events. Add menu. Then, save menu. Or, ilalagay natin siya before contact us. So, don't forget to save menu. So, check na natin. Ito. Ito, 
open natin si events dito. Refresh. So, makikita na natin si home, about us, courses, faculty, events, and pantakas. So, for the faculty, kasi marami tayong faculty, pwede natin siya i-search dito, may search bar naman. So, for example, yung pangalan ng teacher, so, meron siya. So, may search results found for the certain faculty. So, balik tayo sa home page. So, basically, ito na yung itsura ng ating home page or ating website. So, kung iti-check natin si events, kung gagana siya. So, let's click here. So, wala no. Hindi natin makikita kasi hindi pa natin na-customize. So, balik tayo dun sa dashboard and select appearance, then customize. Tapos, um, home page settings. Then, sa post page, select natin si events. Okay siya. Then, publish. So, balik tayo dun sa ating home page. So, try natin i-click sa events kung gumagana siya. So, ayan na. So, we already have our page for our events. So, this time, um, nagawa naman tayo ng widgets for our, uh, mag-insert tayo ng widgets for our website. So, balik tayo ulit sa ating dashboard. And, we have to uh, click appearance and widgets. So, basically, ito yung makikita natin. We have default sidebar, left sidebar, footer 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, i-ask this ko na lang yung default sidebar and left sidebar. So, for the footer 1, um, kunwari, lalagyan natin siya ng image. So, there are two ways to add image. Either you drag or click this drop down button. For example, we choose natin si footer 1, then add widgets. So, for add, to add image, you have to click this one. And for example, lagyan natin siya ng logo ng school. Then, click add to widget. So, pwede natin siyang paliitin para maging thumbnail siya. So, edit image. Then, uh, choose thumbnail para maging maliit siya. So, wala na. None lang siya and update. Then, don't forget to click save. So, para ma-check natin if gumagana si footer 1, let's go back to our website. Visit our website. So, right-click this one. Open link to tab. So, check natin kung gumagana si widget 1. So, ayan. Meron na tayong logo for our school. So, our footer 2, first, we have go back to our dashboard and click menus. So, pwede tayo maglagay dito ng, for example, quick links. So, save menu. So, we already have our menu for quick links. So, back to widgets. And, uh, hanapin natin si navigation menu. So, ito siya. So, pwedeng i-drag. I-drag na lang natin sa navigation menu. And, let's type quick links. Pangwari lang ito. Quick links. So, depende. Okay. Click this drop-down button. And, select quick links. And, don't forget to Save. Then done. So we already have quick links. So ano inalagay natin doon sa quick links? So let's go back to our menus. So ilagay natin dito si quick links. View all.
switch widgets. So basically, ito na yung ating homepage. So for now, we're going to create widgets for our uh, website. So let's go back to our dashboard. Then click this one, the appearance, and widgets. So ito yung menus ng ating widgets. So we have the default sidebar, the left sidebar, footers 1, 2, 3, and 4. So for the footer 1, kumari maglalagay tayo ng image. So there are two ways to add the image. Either we drag it or click this drop down button. So for example, okay, cancel natin to. So we have to drag this one. For to add image, click natin to. Kunwari, ilalagay natin yung logo ng school. Click natin add widgets. So kung gusto nyo i-resize yung image, just click this one, edit, edit image. Then, depende sa inyo kung ano yung i-choose nyo. Either thumbnail, medium, large, or... So sa akin, I choose thumbnail. So, i-update ko na. So don't forget to save. So, to check, i-refresh natin yung ating website. If pag a si logo sa ating Twitter 1. So, ito na siya. We already have our logo sa ating footer. So, the next one, we'll add quick links for our footer. So, we go to our menus. Then, select this one or click this, create a new menu. And type quick links. And create menu. So, balik tayo dun sa ating widgets. So, let's select navigation menu. So, ito siya. So, either we check or we click this one, footer 2, then add widget. And let's type quick links. So, on right, quick links. Then we have to select quick links and see. And balik ulit tayo dun sa widgets. Balik tayo dun sa ating menus. So, anong lalagay natin dun sa ating footer 2 or ating quick links? So, we'll choose, kunwari, we'll choose uh, about us, the courses, Kunwari, the, kunwari, privacy policy and the faculty. So, don't forget to save menu or to add to menu. So, nag-add siya. And, i-click natin po yung save menu. Balik tayo dun sa ating widgets. So, meron na tayong navigation menu for quick links. So, let's check if mag-appear siya sa ating footer. So, let's refresh again the, web the website. So, ito na siya. We already have our footer 2, which is about us, courses, faculty, and privacy. So, sa footer 3 naman, depende, or lalagay natin si recent post. So, click this drop down button, then footer 3, then add widget. So, kunwari, ilalagay natin yung What's the latest? So, number of posts to show, depende sa inyo, kung, anong, kung ilan yung number of posts or ng post to show niyo sa inyong page or sa footer niyo. So, sa akin, I choose 4. And click the save button. And done. So, again, let's check kung na-appear siya sa website. So, let's refresh. So, meron na tayong oh, kulang ng P. 
So, let's edit it. And, don't forget to save. And again, let's check. Refresh natin siya. So, meron na tayong what's the latest for footer 3. So, itatay natin yung, i-click yung display post date, no? Try natin kung anong mag-appear, kung anong mag-appear sa ating footer 3. So, click save. And done. Then again, let's refresh. So, meron siyang date. So, for me, kunin na lang natin yung date siya. So, let's uncheck it. And save. So, refresh natin siya. Ito na siya. So, we have our quick clicks for about us, courses, faculty, privacy. And of course, the logo of the school. And of course, what is, what's the latest for our footer 3? So, basically, ito na yung ating homepage. So, ito na yung na-develop nating website. So, we already have the menus for home, about us, courses, faculty, events, and patakas. So, example, i-click natin sa faculty. So, ayan. Yung list na ating mga faculty. Then, events. Then, balik tayo sa home. We already have the widgets. And, depende na sa inyong mag-explore. Depende na yung mga gusto nyo kung ilalagay nyo sa alit sa inyong mga uh, website. So, what's good in having a website is, of course, the school, your credibility, and of course, the online presence. So, ito na siya. We have already our website. So, yun, we are now back and we are almost done with our website. Uh, I was successful adding uh, new pages. So, uh, we knock out ko po. Last time, gumawa po tayo ng, ng page for the courses. So, nag-add po tayo ng dalawa pa pong track. Okay, we have academic and our uh, other high school track. By the way, ang example po natin na, na website is for senior high school. So basically, meron silang mga courses na ina-offer uh, and may mga strand po. And uh, I think nag-add po ako ng, I think, mga sampu pa pong pages for for us to showcase yung mga strand natin. So check po natin up. So, so academic track, we also have this STEM na strand. Basically, nag-add nag lang po ako, uh, if... If you could remember doon po sa first natin example, nag-add lang po ako ng heading, ng text, ng counter po dito. So, they could see uh, how many students yung nag-enroll. Okay. Yeah, we have an image and also text editor here. Then, naglagay po ako ng mga images sa baba. So, we can easily navigate sa iba pa pong strand na nandyan po na papaloob sa isang, uh, sa isang track. So, we can click this one and redirect us to ABM. Ayan. And Hughes, okay, or uh, meron din po ako nilagay dito na image carousel, okay, gumagalaw po yan, just, just wait po natin. Ayan po, gumagalaw po siya. And pag clinic nyo naman po ito, ililit ka naman po sa other high school track, which is meron naman po siya mga iba't iba rin pong mga strands sa loob nito. And especially TVL po, kasi technical, vocational, livelihood po natin na strand is Marami po siyang napapaloob din ng mga strands inside, like industrial arts, ICT, basically. And naglagay rin po ako ng, ano dito, ng mga images so you can easily navigate sa iba naman pong other high school track. Like this one, sports. Okay. Diba? Arts. Okay, hindi lang po natin napalitan siguro yung image dito sa sports. But I'll, I'll do that uh, for a while, okay? So, TVL. Ayan po, that's ready. And may academic track naman po na ano dito. Kasi other high school track po siya. Nilagyan po natin siya ng academic track naman. Ayan. So, babalik siya sa academic track. Now, ito po yung maganda kay, kay uh, page builder natin na Elementor. Kasi if you are doing a repetitive po na task, like parehas lang naman po ang layout. So, uh, hindi niyo na po kailangan na ulit-ulitin po yung steps para po gumawa ng page. But rather... Kagaya ng ginagawa natin, nag, nag insert lang po tayo ng template. And papakita ko po sa inyo kung paano po mas madaling gumawa ng pages kung pare-parehas lang naman po yung layout natin like this. We'll check first uh, pages that we have made. So we have, uh, let's check first. Ano nga yung hindi ko nabago kanina? I think that's 
sports. Ayan, check muna natin yung sports. Paguhin ko lang po yung image nito ha. Ayan, kasi arts pa rin siya. Well, anyway, it's easy naman to, to change. Ayan, then update. So basically like this po, uh, if we have this page and pare-parehas na naman po ang layout ng gagawin nyo, basically we have like this, we have the, the heading, the title, we have the text editor, we have the image, we have the counter dito po, and you will be adding text editor sa baba and images then If you can see, naka-enclose po lahat itong widgets na ginawa ko or in ko sa iisang section po. Okay? Kita nyo po yung malaking square na yan na blue. Ayan. Ibig sabihin, napapaload lahat yan sa iisa lang po na section. So, what we can do para mas madali po yung pag-develop ng ibang pages na ganito lang rin naman po ang layout, uh, we'll just have to save this one. Right-click po tayo dito sa uh, six grid icon and save it as a template. Like, uh, you could name it sample. Okay, sample template. Eh nandoon na po siya. Yung sample natin ng template. Then afterwards, if you will be creating a new page with the same layout ng din naman po siya. Let's rename this one as sample lang. Then we edit this one with Elementor. Instead of doing everything na i-drag mo na naman, gagawa ka ng section, okay? Tapos drag ka na naman ulit. Instead of doing this repetitive task, and you know that you have the same layout na naman for the pages, instead of doing all those, you just need to insert a template na sinave nyo. Click lang po natin yung no para hindi po mag-change yung kanyang uh, uh, itsura na hindi siya babalik sa default na, na itsura. Kasi uh, ano po eh, Full width po yung ginagamit natin sa Elementor. Ayan. And that's it. Okay. And yun nga, yung image carousel, na-save ko na rin po siya. I'll be adding this one. Super easy po, di ba? So you just have to change the name, okay, the title, I mean the text, and kung gusto nyo ibagoy yung counter. And just update and publish it. And basically, yun na po. Uh, super easy na lang po magdagdag ng mga pages na pare-parehas lang po ang layout. Hindi nyo na po kailangan na paulit-ulit na magpag-drag, mag-select na naman, i-drawing nyo naman po ulit. Okay? Uh, through the help of saving a template, possible po na insert ka na lang template, then change nyo na lang po yung contents ng inyong mga widgets. Ayos pa? So, close po natin to I will not be saving this one kasi hindi naman po natin kailangan sa example natin itong page na to. And also, just a tip lang po, uh, we better set our logo na siguro the, the minimum na height would be around 100. And siguro maximum na natin mga 140 pixels na po. 100 to 140 pixels na po. So that we can ensure na hindi naman po masyadong super emphasize yung logo natin sa website. Maganda lang pong may, may logo, nakikita nila yung logo natin and along with the taglines. But then, uh, set lang po siguro natin. If you could remember how to set this one, just go to your site, customize. I do believe sinet ko po sa 140 or 120 itong ang logo natin. Let's go to header and logo. And then, naka-120 na po siya. Let's check kung 140 po siya. It's good pa rin. Pero pag sumobra na, uh, I, I think nagmamax din po ng, ano, ng settings yan. Si, si WordPress. Ayan, yung theme natin. So, it's good. Post lang po natin yan so we could not uh, change everything. So, ayun po. Basically, you already have your simple website na super easy po natin nagawa through the help of WordPress and the themes and the plugins. You already have the home page natin. This one is connected already to the pages of the, the courses. So if you would like to try and this one is connected na rin. 
nilagyan na po natin ng mga links yung mga buttons na meron po tayo. We also have the most popular courses. Ayan. So, hindi pa natin siya nalagyan ng link. Let's try po lagyan ng link. Okay. Uh, basically, we'll go to the homepage. Super easy na lang po to siya. Okay. Uh, our, our featured popular courses would be gas. So let's try getting first this one. The link for gas. Dito ka lang po magsiset ng link. Again, update. We also have humes. And we have ICT. ICT. I'm using ICT. Okay. Oh, we haven't changed the image yet for ICT. <laughs> so, palitan na lang natin yan. But what's my point is, at, at least super dali lang po niya mag-set. Okay, let's check the homepage. Kung effect na siya. We have ICT. Okay. Humes. Gas. Okay. Let's check the pages muna ng ICT. Kung we could we could change the image first in ICT. Here you go, ICT. Uh huh. This one is ICT. Don't forget to uh, insert for alt text. Let's make it as practice. This one, industrial arts. Nami po. Andre Fisher. Let's update. Super easy po, di ba? Uh, hindi na po, hindi po siya ganun kahirap. Kahit wala ka pong background on web development or web design. Uh, super beginner friendly po ang WordPress. And you can easily uh, modify anything that you would like. The colors, insert images, provide links. Okay. Pwede din pong gawin yung video, itong header or hero image na meron po tayo. You could do whatever you want in your about page, display all the the achievements. Okay, pwede pwede po yun. Uh, all, uh, pwede rin i-feature yung mga students ninyo who were successful already and giving, making making your alma, alma mater proud. And po, you could change the text like this one. You can add uh, a Google map para po madali nilang mahanap ang inyong location. Add the courses or add your campus life, anything na gusto nyo pong i-promote or anything na gusto nyo i-feature, okay? And the curriculum, pwede, pwede nyo rin pong display dito. Okay, using, uh, you can also add pages ng mas mabilis using the templates na ginagawa ninyo. You can also show uh, your faculties. Siyempre, dapat po medyo presentable po yung pag-present natin sa mga teachers natin, di ba? Maganda presentable po mga pogi at mga gaganda natin mga teachers. And you can also uh, highlights, uh, put the highlights about their ed education, okay, what can they do, what they have done, or mga achievements nila. And also we have the page of events. Dito naman po din display natin yung mga posts na meron po tayo. Mas malinis po siya, di ba? And ginawa po ni Mang Faith kanina lang, uh, kinategorize niya. Mas better po na gawin natin din yun na ikakategorize natin yung ating mga posts so they can easily uh, see or check kung saan nila hanapin yung mga news or any blogs na gusto nilang basahin. And syempre, dapat may contact us ka po where they could send you a message for inquiries or paano po mga FAQs or mga mga things na gusto nilang malaman about your school. So, yun na po. And we're so excited na kayo rin po, uh, masend nyo na po sa amin yung output ng inyong mga websites. So, basically, you just have to 
uh, develop pages, okay, maglagay po ng logo, set, set your accounts connected with this icons, okay, mga social media accounts po natin. Huwag po mawawala si home page natin, importante yan. Pagandahin po natin yung home page natin and yung about us natin. Okay, ilagay niyo po lahat ng gusto niyo ilagay. If you are a senior high school, you have courses to offer, mga track na gusto, gusto niyo i-offer, uh, gawan niyo po ng mga pages. But if you are a grade school, pwede naman pong school life po yung ilagay natin dito, depende po sa inyo, or anything na gusto niyo i-feature about the school. Hindi po pwede mawala si faculty. Maganda na meron pong faculty page po ang ating, ating website para naman ma-present natin yung mga teachers natin events, okay? Uh, and also contact us. So, yun po. And we're so excited. And hopefully, uh, masend nyo po sa amin. And we're, uh, we'll be glad to check all your outputs po. In behalf of the ICT Visayas Cluster 1, we would like to thank you for giving time in joining this webinar. And we do hope na marami kayong natutunan. Mm, and so, yun po. Uh, hindi po ganang kahirap gumawa ng website. So we have this platform that could help us easily develop pages and posts, and that is WordPress. And we're so excited for you to submit all your uh, outputs. And if you do have any questions or inquiry or uh, clarification or comments or suggestions how we can improve our webinar, uh, please uh, feel free to contact us with the details that we have provided. And we'll be glad to answer all your questions. Yes. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.